Hey guys, it's your boy M21 here, back again with another video, boys. This one is a special video, as in this video, I'm just doing the intro right now, but as in this video, I'm gonna, I interviewed a pro footballer, Christian Pogue, a Cameroonian striker that played in the Liga Nos and various clubs all over the world. So yeah, it's a special video. I, I reached out to him. He agreed to do an interview on my Instagram live, M21 M21 underscore football. So if you guys could go check it out, that'd be much appreciated. Ton of contents there. My football shirt collection, into football interviewing pro footballers on my instagram live lots of football content there so i'd highly recommend you guys go check out but yeah as i said i reached out to him he agreed one experience what an opportunity it was to interview a pro footballer get an insight get more of an insight on his career and some of his crazy stories which you guys will get to see like running away from china and etc just watch the whole interview enjoy like the interview was supposed to be an hour turned out to be two hours that's how much he was enjoying it which is my aim as well make the player feel comfortable get the best of stories and just have a good time but yeah if we could smash 30 likes for this video that would be much appreciated it was not easy to get a pro footballer to do an interview with me but we did get one so if you guys like me to do more football interviews make sure to smash the like button subscribe put notifications on that would be much appreciated because obviously some of you guys missed the instagram live because it was early in the morning last week 10 a.m so i thought i'd upload it on youtube as well so yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where all my content is. Check out my Depop for football shirts, all authentic, cheaper than retail price. And also you can get your hands on some retro football shirts that are not available right now, like to buy it from the market right now. So yeah, make sure to go check that out. Subscribe. And yeah, comment down below any other footballers you reckon that will be up for us to do another episode of Talk Football. This series is, talk, is called Talk Football, while I interview pro football players, just talk to them and just try get the best, like, see their experience, their career and all of that. So yeah, this was the first episode, Talk Football, with Cameroonian striker Christian Pogo, who obviously played for my Maritmo, which made it even more special. But yeah, what a guy, what a legend. You guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, and make sure if you're watching this video and watch all of it, make sure to watch all of it because it's an interesting interview. Make sure to like tag me on my Instagram story of you watching the video and I'll give you a cheeky shout out. So yeah, let's smash 30 likes for this video. Can't believe it. any other football players you guys want me to do interviews with or that you reckon would be willing to do so. But yeah, enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get straight into Talk Football, hashtag one. Talk Football with Christian Poga. Let's go. <coughs> Hi, Christian. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. And you? Yeah, all good, man. Thanks for tuning. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate that. But yeah, Sorry? how's the situation in France? Yeah, the situation is uh, like tomorrow. We are out, so we yeah. can start uh, move. Mm. Uh, but today is the last day of staying home. Ah, so you can move freely, like you want. No, uh, when you room. want to move over 100 kilometers, you need the uh, authorization. Before ah, you... yeah. Same like England. Tomorrow, they're going to do the make it a little bit easier, but still yeah, straight. It's the same here. Yeah, it's the same. Has it been, how many, do you know how many deaths? Or is it In serious? France, yeah. 26,000. So it's up there. For... Yeah, 26,000. England, 31. Yeah, serious. I think now, it's almost the same like in, that, like in England. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. crazy. Your it's life crazy. changes like that. Yeah. I play, uh, in China, 20 years ago, 17 years ago, I was in China. Yeah, yeah the same, the same, uh, the same disease, the, but it was the SARS. It was uh, almost the same, you know. Mm. Uh, that disease was killing uh, people that uh, that is that are old mm. and people that don't make sport, you know, like uh, fat people. Uh, stuff like yeah. that. Um, this, yeah, this this is almost the same. The difference is that uh, if you have um, uh, 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 a respiration problem, then you can mm -hmm. die of it. But before it was not. The SARS was not like that. The SARS mm -hmm. was just for for weak, wicked people. That's it. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you think they should have done things to prevent it, to stop it, it no. going big? No? No. Or no, 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 no. Because nobody knew. You understand? Yeah. Nobody knew. And there are so many people that have it, but you don't know they have it. They just walk on the street, they talk to you. You know, some yeah. people die like that. For example, my, my uncle dead, you know, two weeks ago. He was fine one day, 
and then uh, just like that he, he start to have a, a, a respiration problem and then two days later he was gone you know just two days yeah so you know mangala you used to play for man city porto yes we yeah, were in porto yeah Yeah, I saw him like he did an interview because he had coronavirus and he said he had no symptoms, nothing. He couldn't feel anything. Mm-hmm. And he had when they mm-hmm. did the test and he had it. It's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like uh, also players in Juventus this uh, this Dybala, he has it also. Even yeah. uh, even the French player that meet the Maturi, he has it, mm-hmm. you know, but he yeah. feel normal. Yeah, it's gone. After, it's gone. That's the problem. You can't prevent it. The only way to prevent it is stay home like they did, you know. But even that, when you go to shop, for example, if somebody have that, have uh, have have that problem, he, he touch something in the shop, and you go there, That's you don't it. know he touch it. You yeah. touch the same thing, and then you have it, you know. So yeah. it's nothing we can do. Nothing really. Nothing we can do. It's just uh, this is life, you know. We 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 had pandemic before, you know, years ago before. And and we 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 pass it, you know. So the the same yeah. we do the same with this one. Yeah, just gotta stay home, stay safe, and after listen, that's it. That's all you can do. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. Let's get started with the interview. Then did a bit of research on your career. Obviously, yeah. I know you moved in Portugal, but did a bit of research on the other places as well. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Let's get started. So since you were a kid. Has it always been you wanted to be a professional football player, or was it just it happened? No, when I was a kid, I was going to school. You know, I was mm-hmm. very brave in school. I was in the top five in my, in my school when I was young. You know. Yeah. And then I I I start to watch game because you know sometimes when you are young you you need something that you like. You know. Yeah. I yeah. didn't like so much movie, and I like to I start to watch uh, uh, football. And then I saw that player Ronaldo Fenomeno, the Brazilian. Yeah, Brazil. Yeah, this guy was. Uh, he gave me, you know, need to play football. You know, he gave me the, yeah. that uh, that energy. Right. Then I yeah. start to to buy some books. You know, French book, France mm-hmm. football. Oh yeah, Mondial. I start yeah. to read everything about football, and then I start to love football. And mm-hmm. then I put myself in the in the in the club. You know, a young club for for young player on the on yeah. the twelve. And then I start football, and then from there. I I want to become a football player. So you started playing for a club at 12. Yeah, 12, yeah. Fair play, that's good. So your idols Ronaldo. Then. I was going to ask that next, but Ronaldo, yeah. Ronaldo, the phenomenal. He was uh, fantastic. He was Yeah, fantastic. he scored like over 50 goals skill When he was in uh, Barcelona. I started yeah. to watch him. Yeah. Mm. 1998, cool. 1999, something yeah. like that. Yeah, he was uh, yeah. 1997, uh, yeah. Yeah, Bobby That's Robson. Him. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Big risk, because he was like 18 and he scored like so many goals for PSV. It's crazy. <sighs> and off to go to Barcelona. Oh no, in PSV he scored more. In PSV he scored, I yeah. think, uh, 20, 30-something goals in 30-something game. Yeah, it's crazy. He scored like... more goals than game he played. <laughs> yeah, third season in Barcelona. In Barcelona yeah. he scored one goal less than the, the number of games he played. It, it's crazy. It's like, you can't say. It's too good. Injuries didn't help, but... Still yeah, had his. Yeah, he, he started to have injury in, in Italy, and then his career yeah. went a little bit down. Yeah. All right, let's get into your professional career. Obviously, you start in Cameroon, your local team. Our local I didn't team. play. I didn't play long in Cameroon. I played like mm-hmm. uh, one yeah. year in the with the mm-hmm. young, and and then with one second team, one uh, even not even one year, six months, and then I went to China. You know. Yeah, Dalian Shai. Yeah. Yeah. They went to yeah. Cameroon to find players, you know. Oh, so that, but that, 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 1,000 players, and they made tests. They want to take just 25, and we were 1,000. It was Damn. unbelievable. All the all the clubs, you know, send their best player there to make mm-hmm. the trial, and we did the trial in three days. And after three days, they took the 25 best player. And then we flew to China. Damn! I was gonna say, how did the offer come around? Because you're so young. And yeah, I was 15. I was yeah. 15 years old. I was going to school. <laughs> yeah, school. You were correct. Going to, like, going to China, 15. That's crazy. Yeah. It was a, was it, it was a nice uh, it was a nice uh, adventure, you know. Yeah. Nice so did you adapt easily, or did you have difficulties because you were obviously away from your family? No, because this is my nature, you know. I'm not like uh, other people. I have very, very. You can see my career. I oh, I made, uh, I changed country. I I did yeah. about 15 something country. You know, I I can adapt very, very fast in every mm. culture. Very, very fast. Mm. 
When yeah. I arrived in China, after six months, I, I, I started to speak a little bit Chinese with the, yeah. the Chinese people. Yeah. That's good. That's good. New culture. Everything was new. The food, especially the food, because we eat the same thing during, I stayed there four years. And during four years, I eat the same food every day. It was phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was phenomenal. So, after smashing the, what, what do you think was the hardest thing? Adapting in China. Or you didn't find any difficulties? Was the food? Being, the no, food? just everything. Being just the away. The man, I was young, you know. So, you know, when you are young, you don't think about something else than football. True. We were playing football every day. The, yeah. the, first, the first year, we play football Monday till Sunday. Every day. We play football 24th, 25th of December. We play football 31st and 1st of January. 31st of December and 1st of January. Every day, no vacation the first year. It was unbelievable. Yeah, every day, every day training, no rest. Every day. Yeah. Every day. You, had, you were successful there. You scored smashing... Yeah, we, I start well. to play. I start to play with the on the on the seventeen. I was yeah, top scorer. We were, yeah, we were champion of China. Then yeah. we play with the on the twenty one, top scorer again, champion again, and then I went to the you know Dalian was a big club you know like a Real Madrid, and yeah, the, the board they have another club in first division, that was in another yeah. city, and yeah. they have another club in second division. So, because Dalian have a very the best uh, 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 formation in China, and we have a lot of players, so the, all of them cannot play in the first team. So yeah. some of them, the best of of the young player, they send them to the other club of first division, and the the rest they send them in the other club in second division. Ah, so, exactly. And I was I, I went professional at sixteen years old, and in China when you are foreigners, you cannot play uh, if you are not uh, eighteen. You understand? Mm. So I went. I went to the third club in in the second division. Okay. So the the board they work also in the federation. So they made yeah. some amendment to to let us play in the second division. You know, as foreigners. Mm. You know. And then I start to play there at sixteen, and and my teammate was my my friend in the in the in the young team in the, in Dalian. We sent mm. all of them. All of them. We made that team in second division. Yeah. We played the first season. I was sep I was second top scorer in the first season. We we stay in second division, and the next season, uh, Dalian sold that club. Who play World Cup in two thousand two or two thousand three? Yeah. Okay? So he was our coach, and the second coach, the assistant coach, was the captain of China in World Cup two thousand two. The captain. He was our second coach. Absolutely. So, so that year. The, when the when the the, the 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 that Shanghai rich man when he arrived to the club, he told he told he told us that okay I will let the coach decide if I keep you or I don't keep you because I have money I can buy foreigners that have big names you know, yeah. and uh, the coach came he said okay we we'll make precision promote in first division, and I don't know if you can make us promote in first division, I will see in the precision, so we make mm. precision one month. I score in every game, two goals, three goals, two goals, three goals, and my friend was banning. He played in Paris Saint Germain in 2006. You know, he was yeah. a midfielder like Patrick Vieira, skinny boy. Yeah. And uh, we were two in the midfielder. He was in the midfielder, one in front. He gave me assist every game. I score. <laughs> and then after the camp, the, he say he, he come, he came and, and told us that okay, you 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 convinced me to keep you. I will give you contract this season to promote. And that year we promote in first division. And then I went to national team junior in Cameroon, and then I didn't come back because you know Chinese when we when we were there they kept our passport so we cannot go out. I stayed three years without seeing my family, you know. So I was just there playing football. I didn't have holidays. And then when I left to national team, I never come back again. This is how I <laughs> I leave China because they didn't want to let us go. They want us to stay there and they want us to give us a passport, you know. But I left. Damn. I escaped. I have to say I escaped because they didn't want me to go, you know. And then I escaped. I never come back there. Because if That's I come cool. back there, then we took my passport again. And I could not go out. No. That's did how they, I escaped from China. Did they, did they do anything? Or like no, no. After you left? they let me go. No. They let me go. Yeah. I was young. I was 19, you know, yeah. on that time. I was only so, 19 and uh, they didn't so you, they didn't, you they, they didn't team to go away. Yeah, they didn't do anything. Yeah, they just let me go. <laughs> they understood. 
Yeah, so obviously, like, in one year, two years, you go from playing your local team, doing a few trials, after going pro in China. How did that feel? Like, so quick? Destiny. This, yeah. I believe in destiny. Yeah, you know, everybody mm -hmm. has his own destiny. Today mm -hmm. you can be down and tomorrow you can be up and today you can be up and tomorrow, you, you know, you cannot understand. You don't control anything, you know. If something mm -hmm. has to happen to you, it happens. There's a lot of young kids in, uh, in, uh, in Africa that dream to be football player. They are working a lot, but they don't have chance to succeed. It's not because they are not working or they don't believe. It's just about luck, you know. And I can thank God I was lucky. That's the only thing I can say. Yeah, it's the same like England. Like, there's so many players out here. Like, obviously, I'm 18, so I see millions. so many. There are million big, good players everywhere. Million, in the world. Everywhere. I see but players. None of them. Not, like, it's not all of them that will be successful. You understand? Or that even yeah. be professional. Yeah, that's the problem. It's destiny. It's crazy. You believe about destiny. Yeah. Because I see so many players, or even like for preseason, I play in like sixth division in England. Yeah. And preseason, sometimes we have a local team then league two so professional here in england for preseason yeah. we play them obviously they're more fitter a little bit fitter because they train five six times a week exactly but like we see like for 70 minutes we're like the same like i don't see any difference but exactly. it's, it's opinions you know what i mean it's luck as well i don't know it's luck. But yeah, so many talented players out there it's just football is like it's about luck also you know even even big, big clubs you see for example uh, uh, when you see football game, sometimes you can see a team that's better than other. They are, yeah. they are dominating the game and the other the other team have one chance to score one goal and finish, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is luck. And the other team, they are missing goals that they, they, they yeah. just don't miss. This is, this 90 is... minutes, always going, don't score. They go there once, go. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, um, you smashed, well, depending on uh, looking at the records, 31 goals in 70 games in China, like top team. I was Combined a machine there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were so young as well, R Ronaldo. Yeah, um, I, I was young. I was tall also, you know. Mm. And the football there uh, match my quality because Chinese ah. football they play with uh, fast uh, wingers, and mm. they have perfect cross like David Beckham. You know, Chinese. If they, yeah, it, it was unbelievable. And I have that luck to play with. Uh, most of them play in national team now. And yeah. they play before in national team. Yeah, there's some of mm. them that I play with very good wingers. They can put the ball wherever you are. They just put the right. ball there. And this is the luck I have because they can find me everywhere. And I have my friend behind me also that can find right. me. I have good people around me. That's why I score goals. And just this is, a, this is easy. striker. You know, if you are a striker and you have teammates that understand the way you play, then you can score goals. For example, I will give you an example. Uh, Drogba. You yeah. know, when he arrived in Chelsea, they yeah. don't understand how he played. Yeah. He spoke to he spoke to uh, the midfielder, you know, uh, Frank Lampard. He explained yeah. to Lampard how he played. You know, Drogba is not very fast. Yeah. They have power, but he's not very fast. And, to... and this kind this kind of striker, for him to find him in the in the in the behind the defender, you need to play in first intention. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you wait, like for example, Eto, you can wait the last minute. You can wait. The defender can yeah. know he will go, but you can put the ball. He will catch it because he's very. Yeah, Drogba is not very fast. He's, yeah. he's, he's fast, but not very fast. So for yeah. him to pass the defender, the midfield have to... He know the midfield will give him the ball. So he has to go before the midfield give him the ball. And you can see all the assists of uh, Lampard to Drogba. It was always yeah. one touch. When he received uh, the ball, he already knew how to put the ball. Yeah. You understand? And that's why he scored goals. But in the beginning, he didn't score many goals, Drogba, as you can see. It's only after. Yeah. Because he's a specific uh, profile Plus, of players. Yeah. You know, so you need to have people around you that understand the way you play. If they don't understand, it will be very difficult. Mm. It will be very difficult. So after you get your move to Europe, you get your yeah. breakthrough. You go to Zurich. I yes, I, one of the I biggest went first to one uh, one uh, in fifth division in France. I went yeah. there because I couldn't come from China directly to Zurich because Chinese will make problem. You understand? So uh -huh. I yeah. went to five, uh, fifth division in France. So the Chinese, they thought that, okay, I go to a very amateur club, right? they yeah. forgot me, you know? And then I scored goals. And then I went, I moved to, to I, I, first, my, because my friend, Manu, the guy, my friend, he, he moved to Europe. He went to one club uh, uh, in, in, in Zurich, Arau, okay? Oh, yeah. through, my, through my brothers, that was, that was Ajay. And then he has a good season, okay? So at the end of the season, they called me also to come in trial. 
I played, I come in trial. In three games, I score four goals. And the third game was against Zurich. I scored three uh -huh. goals against Zurich. So that, and then, that club want to offer me contract. But Zurich, Lucien Favre, the coach of Borussia Dortmund now, he was the coach. Yeah. There. Yeah, man. Coach. He called my agent, he said, I want that striker. I want that striker. Because Zurich was like Barcelona. They only, they only have uh, short players, you know. Not tall. Yeah. They were short and they were playing tiki-taka. The yeah. problem is that sometimes they have problem when they play against team that uh, playing block. You know, they don't have a striker that is good with the, that was good with the, with the head. You understand? And me, I was fast, and I was good with, with the with the head. So it, I was the perfect profile that the coach need that season. You know, so he called my agent, and uh, we played the game against them Saturday. Sunday mm -hmm. we decide that I will sign the contract in Arau. So they were they, they were meeting Monday at 10 o'clock with Arau yeah. to sign. But in Monday, 6 a.m. in the morning, my agent come to take me in the hotel, you know. We went behind the hotel. And then yeah. we escaped to Zurich to sign the contract, you know. <laughs> and then I signed the contract in Zurich. So when I arrived in Zurich, you know, from five divisions in France to, to Zurich. Zurich, that were champion and, you know, they yeah. have time to adapt, but they don't give time to adapt there. Yeah. You know, because I was foreigner. So the yeah. first, the, uh, it was difficult for me to, to adapt. I didn't play much game. But I yeah. scored one goal, one important goal, because uh, that season they were fighting for the for, for, to become first, and and Basel was on top with with uh, with uh, four points, mm -hmm. and we have a bad 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 period. We lose three games on the road, and Zurich never lose three games on the road. You know? Yeah. So we have one game because we were on the top with one point, no, with two points we lost three games, and then Basel was. Uh, 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 ahead of us with four points. Yeah. So that game, if we lose, we will be we'll be behind seven points from Basel. So that game in the last minute, I score. We start to win, 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 and we pass Basel to the till the first of the 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 premier part of the league. You understand? Yeah. And then they loan me uh, Arau, the second part of the of the of the league. The problem is that arrive uh, when I arrived in Arau, they were not happy because I I left them in the first part. Yeah. You know, to send understandable. Me. They punished me, so I didn't play much game there. Mm. So at the end of the season, Arau wanted to go down in the second division. So to save them, we play against uh, Bellinzona. Bellinzona is, yeah. uh, so is a team that was in second division, you know. So we beat them, and I played a good game. So I, at the end of the season, Arau didn't want to renew my contract. So I, I was about to go back in France. Yeah. But then uh, Bellinzona called me. They said, look, we are, of, of course, you are champion of Switzerland with uh, Zurich. And we play in second division. Maybe you don't want to play in second division, but we have a good project. We want to promote in first division. And mm -hmm. here you will meet you will be the main striker. You understand? So come and we play good football. And I saw they play good football. They play the kind of football I like. You know. So the coach was Petko, Petkovic, the coach of national team of Switzerland now. You know. And mm -hmm. that time he was work. He was not professional. He was working, and he was coach of Berinzona. You know. What was he doing? What what work was he doing? He was. I forgot the job he was doing, but he was working. Was working. Yeah. Then I went there. He spoke to me. He he he, he explained me how he want to play. He, he told me how I play. He understood how I play, and he told me that the other club, the other club, they didn't use me the way I supposed to play. You know, mm -hmm. because Bellinzona was in the Italian part of Switzerland, and you know yeah. I have a profile of Italian striker like uh, Tony Luca, Tony this kind of striker. You know, target man. And yeah. in in, uh, in the in the German part, they don't use target men. They like tag striker that are fast. You understand? This is not my profile. So yeah. when I arrived in Arizona, they built the team around me. I scored twenty something, twenty five yeah. goals. We promoted first division. We went to final cup yeah. against, against Basel, and then I went to national team, the first national team. You know, with Eto and all those guys. Because that yeah. season I was flying. You know, yeah. I was flying. All Europe wanted me that time. All Europe. Yeah. So. How is living in Zurich? Not the football, just living in Zurich. It's very expensive. Very yeah. Expensive. yeah. I, was, I was young. I was 20 years old. As I told you, you know, in China, I was not going out a lot, you know. So you don't spend it. Yeah, I kept that mentality. So in Zurich, I didn't, I training home. I stay home the whole day. I never go out. Never, mm. never, never, never. After yeah. training, I go back home. I stay at home. Crazy. I yeah, I've heard expensive yeah. lifestyle, man. Yeah. But the um, was expensive to buy food or to go to a restaurant was everything. Expensive. Yeah. So obviously after two two seasons in Switzerland, Zurich and Arau, where you had limited game time, didn't play much. Yeah. You stepped down, or in theory, stepped down to League Two. 
yeah. of Swiss football to play for Bellinzona. Did you feel that you were going down the league or an opportunity no. to prove I your worth? I was 20. I was 21 years old. Yeah. When you are young, you don't think where you play, you know, because when you're a good player, you just want to play. As long as you play professional, if you're yeah. good, people will know. No matter yeah. where you play. You understand? And Switzerland is a, was a, on that time is a league for young players because mm -hmm. big club can buy players there. I knew yeah. that. You understand? I knew. And I, I was a player for first division. It's because I need adaptation. That's why I went to second division. So people that will come see me will come see me how I play. You understand? Because I need to play regularly. And yeah. that season, I play good in second division and I score against all the first, uh, first league uh, team against who we play, you know? I score against Basel in final, in Basel. I score again uh, in, in Cup, you know, in semi-final against uh, Neuchatel Samax. I, yeah, yeah. I score in playoff against Sengalen. So the three, the three games we play against first division team, we That's beat good. them. And I score, you understand? So yeah. there, there were no difference between team for second division and team for first division. And most of all, we promote. So we were the better team in second division. And yeah. I score in the, all the important games. And I was a sort of top scorer there, you know? Yeah. And this is how they judge me. This so you took it as an opportunity to prove yourself and just exactly. show how good you are. Exactly. So that obviously I, European football that I can show the way I play because yeah. in football is is about that, you know. For example, if you take Messi, you put him in a, in one club that doesn't play the way Barcelona play. That's it. He will not be the Messi we know. You understand? Yeah. It's like that. Football is about that. If you don't use your quality to play, it's like they cut your leg, you know, you cannot do nothing. You cannot show yourself. Yeah, it's a lot of factors. That's the thing. Um, in okay. that spell, in that spell with Valenzona, in my opinion, you were the main man. Looking at the stats, main man, eighteen goals, thirty-four games yeah. to help in the league to help the team get promoted to the main league of Switzerland. Did you feel that was an important season in your career? As obviously it was in Europe, in which you needed to prove yourself, and obviously helped you get promoted. Obviously after Zurich, not playing in, much. And in Rauch. January already, Basel wanted to buy me. In yeah. January. After the first part, yes. I spoke to the, to the coach, Christian Gross. You know, Christian, yep. Christian Gross yep. was the coach at that time. So he invited me two days before the market closed. In February, I think it was end of January. Mm -hmm. He invited me in one hotel in uh, Lucerne. Not in Basel, not in Bellinzona, not in Zurich, in Lucerne. One city, you know. Mm -hmm. So we went there with the sport director, my agent, and Christian Gross. And, and uh, he, he wanted me to come in Basel, you know. And on that time, there were Felipe Casedo. You remember Felipe, Felipe yeah, Casedo? That played, uh, Man City. City. Yeah. Yes. You know, Felipe Casedo is, was the same profile like me, striker. But Christian Gross, when he was in, in, uh, in, uh, in Basel, were playing, he, he was playing winger. You understand? He was not playing striker. The striker was Strela. Mm -hmm. Strela, yeah. the striker of the national team. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this uh, Casedo was playing left. And the coach, Christian Gross, he told me that, listen, Christian, I want to bring you in my team. You, are, you have power, like, like I said. But I don't want you to play striker. I want you to play winger. Oh. I will explain you why I want you to play winger. Because if you play winger, you will increase your power and the, the, the capacity of you to play over 90 minutes. And then when you will be, for example, 23, 25 years old, when you would play striker, nobody can stop you. You can see Casedo when he starts to play striker. He cannot catch him. He can play two games because Crazy. he had energy. You understand? Because when he was young, he was playing winger. You have to go up, go down, go up, go down. You know, you have to. Yeah. And, and Basel is not a club that uh, used to defend. You have to. You will attack all the game because mm. you're a dominating team. Yeah, you it's a big team. exactly. Yeah. But you have to make a lot of effort to pass mm. players. You know, to use your brain. You know, to use all your ability when you are yeah. winger. As uh, uh, this is the difference between a striker and a winger. The striker, you just have to score. But the winger, you have to use your ability. And he wanted me to play on that position. Then I told him, no problem. If you think I can play that position, I want... Basel is a big club. Yeah, yeah. For me, no problem. I can go there, you know? Because yeah. also in China, I play some game as a winger. I didn't play mm. all the game. I play game, some games. My coach is a, is a, is a coach yeah. now of... Um, he's the coach of the uh, national team of Gabon now. His name is uh, Patrice Neve. It was my coach in China. Yeah, a French guy. So he put me some time as winger. So I told Christian Gross, no, no problem. So they contact Belinzona to make the transfer. But it was two days before the transfer closed. And Belinzona said, ah, well, we're going to find a striker that will replace, will replace Puga now. It's not possible. Yeah. You yeah, call, exactly. if, you, if you contact us one month before, that will be fine. You know? Yeah. So you have to, we cannot do anything. 
Otherwise, you send us a striker that plays for your first team to Belizona, yeah. you know, to replace yeah. Buga. And then he can get then, promoted. So they need yeah. a goal-scoring striker. Exactly. Um, what was and, the feeling getting promoted? Yeah, right? And then uh, Belizona said no. They said no. We we not sell him. That's what. That's how I st- I stay in uh, I stay I stay in Belizona to finish the season. You know. Do you and regret? And in final, no. It was good no. for me. No. Yeah. Because I didn't know how it be in uh, in Basel. Maybe I will go in Basel. I will. I need no. adaptation. You know, it's not good to change in the middle of the season. Yeah, you know, it's always good to do one year full or two years. Then you can move, especially for strikers, mm-hmm. because strikers we are not like midfield or defender. Striker, you need to do the same thing many times to repeat the way you play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because you cannot just play six months, score goals, and then you go. It's it's not good. Okay. You need to stay. You need to show the, your the, the way you play, because when the club buy you, it buy a striker that have a certain way to play. Mm-hmm. And and to have a certain way to play, you need to play long time, and this is the opportunity I never have. You know, I always yeah. stay six months, one month, one year in one club, and then yeah. when I I do good, they sell me. You know, but I I didn't mm-hmm. show more. I need to show more before I go. And every time when I change club, they change the way I play. I will give you an example. When I signed in, in FC in FC Sevilla, because when I left, I leave, uh, I leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I go Can to I national you. team. Then I go to Sevilla. The mm-hmm. problem is that in Sevilla, they buy they buy me to replace uh, Canute because Canute they want to prepare after two three years Canute will go and I will take over. You understand? Because Sevilla was playing like uh, England club, you know, with wingers like uh, yeah, like uh, I, I forgot his name. He played Man City. Uh, that Spanish guy. Uh, David Navas. David uh, Navas. You know, they're very fast and cross and they cross. Yeah. So Luis Fabiano. They play with crosses, you understand? Yeah. So they want a target man to play like that. The problem is that when I arrive in Sevilla, it's the same year that uh, Guardiola take Barcelona. You understand? <laughs> so a- every club in Spain want to copy Barcelona. Uh, and and when Sevilla fun. buy me, they didn't buy me to play like Eto. They buy me to play like uh, Canute and to play the way Sevilla used to play. But mm. when I arrive, the coach that was there he started to make me physical training, you know, to increase my speed, to play like Eto. We didn't play crosses there. He want me to come down, to take the ball, to dribble, <laughs> to go left, to go right. I, I spoke to the... My sport director that bought me is the sport director of uh, Leeds now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, his name is... Um, is uh, I forget his name. Uh, Victor Horta. He's the sport director of Leeds mm-hmm. now. It's, it's a Leeds yeah. that he first in second division. Yes. I yeah, spoke to him and said, look, you buy me because you want me to play target man. Look at this coach. <laughs> he, he want me to go and sprint and do... I'm not, this, I'm not that type of player, you understand? <laughs> and then after that, I have injury. I have oh. a tubis, pubalgi. You know, I stay six months because I refuse to make operation. So I stay six oh, months off. Refuse. Yes. Why? And then because they will want... You know when the the you make operation of 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 pubis, you lose half percent of your of your speed. So mm. and I, you know I was not very fast. I have I, I have good speed, but yeah. if I made operation, I will become very 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 slow. Yeah, but very very slow, and my football will be over at twenty three. You know, so I refuse to do that. Mm. Then I I come back when I came back again from injury after this month. I broke my fifth metatarsal season finish. So I lost almost one year like this, you know. Damn. Why? Because the, the that coach he wanted me to play a certain football that I I, I, I it's not my football. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And then I moved to you know Sevilla, loaned me in, uh, in Portugal, in Lechoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. when I remember you, my friend. And in Lechoes, the coach used me the way I play. Yeah. When he took me, uh, you know, I was overweight because I stayed one year without play. I was big. You understand? I have about three four kilo on, on because when I finished the season in Sevilla. I went to Portugal without pre-season because Portugal start league before everybody. And we yeah. finished the season in Spain 30th of June. 30th of June uh, and, and, and Portugal already start pre-season. So mm-hmm. I need to go off for maybe two weeks. Then I came back in the uh, in, in middle of July to Portugal to start. I, I only have two, two, two weeks training and I start the league with, uh, right. with next year. The coach told me, Christian, I don't want you to go left. I don't want you to go right like your, your coach was in Spain. I just want you to stay in the box and score goals for me. And I scored goals that season. You understand? Then if I was not fit, but I, I made a good season with them. Yeah. And then there is one, in the end of the season, Braga wanted to bite me. You know, FC Braga. In yeah. yeah. They wanted to bite me. But Sevilla wanted money. Braga said no. 
we can take the player and Sevilla will keep 50% of my right. You know, yeah, so. and two. Braga they say Braga no. they say no. Sevilla say no, we don't want to we don't want, give us at least uh, two hundred thousand, you know? And they say no. They don't buy the they, they don't want to give money. And then that club in Romania last week, they came and they put money in the table, you know. And I yeah. left. And that club in Vasui, the coach was Lopez Caro, the coach of uh, he was former coach of Real Madrid. Yeah. So and you then, and then they, they bought Campano was captain of uh, of uh, Mallorca. Mm -hmm. They bought uh, Ribas, captain of Betis oh. TV. So they bought, uh, <laughs> they bought uh, uh, Adelton, he was playing in, in Kievo Veron. And they bought another striker that played in Deportivo La Coruña. So they have mm -hmm. big club, big players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they buy me to win the league in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Romania. But that time they were not good. They, were, they didn't win game, you know. So when I arrived, they played three games, one draw, no, two draw and one loss. They didn't win. So the press, the president was crazy. So he <laughs> said I can score goals, you know. Yeah. Then he bought me. I took. I was in Spain that time. I was. Uh, I was training, you know. I just finished my holiday. You understand? Yeah. And then in in uh, in Romania they already start the league, and I was coming from holiday without preseason. Mm -hmm. You know, I I played three seasons consecutive without preseason. Pre I just yeah. come from holiday and then I start, and it's not good for 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 players like uh, with my body, you know, because I need a lot of training before start the season. But I play mm -hmm. three season without any preseason. Mm -hmm. I just go like this, and then I arrive my first game. I score with uh, last week, you know, and the player mm -hmm. was crazy about me. Then we start to win games, but the player didn't like the coach. He sacked the coach because we were down. We went we were, we were before last when I arrived after three games. Then we were second in the league, and then he sacked the coach. After one month, when I was, I was there, I played four games, two goals, you know. And then he, he, he sacked the Spanish coach. He brought a, a Romanian coach. When the Romanian coach arrived, he thought that uh, I came with the Spanish coach because I was coming from Sevilla. But ah. I didn't come from the coach. I came from the <laughs> president. He's the president. It doesn't matter. So, yes. So he put all the players that come from, from Spain out of the team. Me, Campano, Rivas. All of them that come in from Spain, he didn't put it in the team. So we finished the season. We didn't win the league. We finished uh, second. And then but we qualify for, for League Europa. And But the problem is that the club don't pay salaries. They don't pay salaries. They don't pay bonuses. No. Nothing. That's why I broke my contract. And then I moved to Maritimo. You understand? Oh. So when I arrived to Maritimo, yes, I have a fantastic preseason with Maritimo. A, a yeah. very good team that was playing. Yeah. I remember your time at Les and I saw the preseason because I always watch the games. Oh. Fantastic! I score in all my, all my game in precision. I score in Maritimo, but my my uh, ITC from um, uh, uh, Vasui didn't come out. So I made a good precision with Maritimo, but unfortunately I lost two months of the league because my ITC was not there. So I lose game. I stay home. I add kilo because I didn't play game. I have a little. I start to have little little depression because I thought that I would never play. You know. And then in October, good news. The coach called me and said, oh, Christian, finally the FIFA released your ITC so that you can start to play, you know. And then I start to play, but Baba, Baba was, was, was scoring. So I couldn't Fire. play. Fire. Yes, so I need to wait that Baba go before I play. That's, why, yeah. that's how I stay. And I lose game, you know. And then when I start to play, I score goals. I yeah. score. But then I have injury. I was good. I was in form. Yeah. Then I have injury. I have injury on my on my on my hamstring. I go home. I come back. I have another injury in my other leg. I come back again. I have another. I have three important injuries that spoil my my season in Maritimo. That's so. Me. Obviously, I'm a Maritimo fan, so I'm going to ask more questions about Maritimo and your time there and Le Change as well. Yeah. Let's go with Maritimo after we go to Le Change later. Um, what made you come to Madeira and join Maritimo? My agent. My agent yeah. he called me. He said that uh, Maritimo wanted me already one year ago. When I when I was in Lechoesh, Maritimo already wanted me. The contract yeah. was on the table. There. It yeah. was Maritimo and Braga that wanted me. Maritimo, Did you do yes. You Ma I, I think Maritimo wanted to give money, I think, also. Wanted mm -hmm. to pay money to, to Sevilla. But the problem is that Vaslui, they give much more money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. obviously. That's why. Um, and I didn't want to go to Vaslui. No. I want to stay in football in Portuguese football because yeah. football, uh, Portu Portugal have the way I play football. 
Mm. You understand? That's why I want to continue in the same league to make my name. But Sevilla forced me to go there because they receive big money. They say yeah. you will go there or you will stay here because it remains one year contract for me. They say, or you stay here one year, you don't play, and then you go for free. Or you can go and play. I didn't want, I was 23 years old. I didn't want to lose one year. That's why I moved to... I hate when clubs do that. If the player doesn't want to be there, just let him go. All like, my career was like that. All uh, my career. All. I hate when clubs use them. Oh, you got a year. I'm going to... All my career was like that. Um, so, obviously, because... Obviously, I know more of you Le Chouin, because that's when you... Portugal football and everything. Obviously, they get relegated. But you... But the main man, you're scoring goals in a struggling team. Yeah. And I thought you were staying in Liga Nos. I thought you were going to go... We yeah. have a luck in, in Lech Yeah, four points. Lech the problem in Lech is not that they were not good. We have a lot of injuries, important players. In Lech when we start to win, four, four players on the first team, they got injured. Two mm. months. And then players that was playing, that players that not supposed to play. That's yeah. why we lose game. Because it's the players that... You know, Lech Chouesh was not Porto. We have yeah. 11 or 12 players good and That's the rest it. of the players were the players yeah. to compensate, not to play all the game. They yeah. can play one game if somebody is, uh, have a red card, but not Dude, to play the full season, it. you understand? And yeah. that's the problem we have. We have a very big problem of injury, uh, on luck. We are not knocking Lech Chouesh. We have a good club, good players. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Most that. of them was injury. Yeah. When they were so playing, that, we were winning. Yeah. That's what, you, play, that's what you felt Exactly. Made you relegate. The coach was good also, but yeah. if you if you if you remove Messi, you remove Xavi, Iniesta, you don't have different Barcelona team. anymore. Yeah, different team. Yeah, obviously. It's finished. You understand? If you remove half of the team, it's yeah. gone. And then Le Chouet is not Barcelona. You know, we don't yeah. have a good uh, second player. You understand? Yeah, and then half of the good player were out. No so money for that. Not fight. Yes, that's the problem we have in Le Chouet. and many people doesn't know that. And yeah. So, and and also, the team was renewed at ninety percent. So the players that were finished sixth the league the, the, the year before, maybe two or three was there. All the rest were new players. Yes, hard and, chemistry. And new coming in the country. You understand? Mm. So they need time to adapt. But we are a good team. Yeah. When in all your... of us were together, everything was good. But when they start to get injury, then we are <laughs> In your there. time at Lechouesh, you played with some really good players. Yes. That would go into bigger clubs and win yes. stuff. Oh, some Romero. of them went to bigger clubs. So yeah, Rivera, Sporting, right back, Antunet, Kouwe, Kouwe, Kouwe Brunchina, yes. the Lechouesh legend. Yes. So, who would you say, other than yourself, is the best Lechouesh player in that season? Well, not, not that season, but that you played. Sonny, the right back. Yeah? Sonny, yeah? yes, the right back was fantastic. Yeah? Sonny what? was a fantastic player. What would you say, like, just made him who he is? Like, so good. Sonny, Sonny, he have. He has strength, he has power, he has good cross, you know. He, he, the only problem he had, he doesn't know how to defend because he was not a defender. So he was a winger. But the coach put him in the in behind because he's good when he comes from behind, not yeah. when he faces the game. You understand? And that's the intelligence of the coach, Mota, Jose Mota. He yeah. put Sony right back because Sony is not a right back. Mm -hmm. Sony is a winger. And he changed his position because Sony was better when he played right back. And his only yeah. problem is that he has vision to, to read you know, as a defender. This is the only problem he has. Yeah. But as Roberto Carlos also have that problem, you understand? Uh, Dani Alves yeah. also had that problem. Yeah, exactly. You have to see the good of the players, not the bad. And Sonny was so good that you, don't, you cannot only see the way that he doesn't, uh, he doesn't read well, uh, you understand, as a defensive player. Yeah. And for me, I told him that, my friend, you are a very good player. And you can mm -hmm. make it, you know? You can make it. This is the guy that at, on that time, was very good. Now, the other player were young, you know. Uh, Kowei was, he was, he was a very young player. He yeah. was a young player and uh, it was difficult for me. I, he, he has talent. He has quality as a defensive midfielder and he was Brazilian. So, I knew that he can make it also. But on that time, it was not, he was not 100% ready. You can see he have quality. And the club were under pressure, you know. Yeah, so, obviously. You need to stay exactly. So, you cannot put a young player uh, to save a team when he, we are on the on, on the pressure, you understand? Because he didn't have that experience, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was a good player. If you yeah. want to tell me one player, I will say Sonny. That I know hundred percent that this guy, he, he, he can make it, and he made a good career, Sonny. Yeah, I've played for a few remaining teams as well, Petro Lul and stuff. Exactly. I followed him a lot because I I don't know I like I follow all the football and everything, but 
mm. players that come from countries that don't have many pro players are players for me that it's not easy. Like they have no inspiration, you know what I mean? Like from their mm. country. And he was from Haiti. So obviously going through that tragedy and stuff and him making it pro is always cool. So yeah, always follow them. What about Antunes and Ruben Ribeiro? Did you always see that the quality, or did you think they were going to go like Antunes especially? Did you think he was going to go on to play? Oh, yeah. for Antunes, yeah. Antunes was he has now Antunes was a super player. Yeah, already. Did you, when he arrived did you think he was going to go to La Liga, play for Getafe? Of course. For yeah. me, he can play. In, uh, he could have played in Benfica. Antunes was a good player. Yeah, yeah. He was a good player. He's a little bit crazy, but he's yeah. a fantastic player. He has the left foot, wonderful. Yeah, he has a wonderful left foot. Also, there is one striker. I forget his name. Didi. Also, he was he was a good good striker. He was Didi striker. There was another striker that came in January. We have a good team. Yeah. But unfortunately, yeah, with this injury problem that make the team goes down. We don't yeah, have the players to, to fight. You know. Small teams in Portugal they can't afford to have twenty players that are going to show up like to that level. That's the problem. They have tw not all teams, but let's say there's 20 teams, 13, 14. They they can't have 20 players. No, that will, they no. can't. They don't have the money for that. No, no, it's impossible. First, because of money, because good players they are expensive. You understand? Well, the you need to have good eyes to see a young talent that nobody see. But it's very complicated, you know. And it's a risk as well. Yeah, and if when you're a good player, everybody will know you're a good player. Yeah, <laughs> everybody obviously. will know. You understand? It's not like uh, like before because before everybody was good. Now in football, it's very difficult to find talent player. You know, there's not too much talent player now. The football has changed. Not like before. Before you can see every team have good player, but now yeah. there is a big difference be between good club and normal club. There is no big players in normal club, but before on my time, all the team have good good players. Yeah. Look at uh, this guy, that the striker that went to. To, to Braga and Benfica. What is his name? Diego uh, Sosa? He was playing in uh, uh, Belenesi. Uh, Welcome. No. On my time, he was playing in Belenesi. Then he went to Braga and then he went to Benfica. Brazilian. Oh, uh, Lima. Lima. Lima yeah. was playing in Belenesi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More goals than Lima. You understand? And then, yeah. he, and then he signed to Braga. He win Europa League with Braga. And then he signed to Benfica. You yeah. understand? So yeah. on that time, you can see players that play in the, the last team of the league, but have the talent to play in the top league. Oh, yeah, yeah, he scored against Today, Juventus. You don't see that. You yeah. Today, there is very big difference between... Uh, between uh, Hope and, uh, exactly. You, you don't see talent, you know? You can see this team, nothing. You cannot buy any players there. The yeah. whole team, you don't have no player that you buy. But before, it was difficult. When you play teams, you understand, you can, you can, you have you have you know, yeah. even when they first play against the last you, it's not like today they win six seven nine zero very <laughs> they don't even fight you know you understand we, yeah. i remember our time we played draw against uh, porto at home in, uh, in in our home you understand it was a very game very good very good game and porto didn't dominate us you understand it was yeah. we play zero zero it was falcao uh, uh, bruno alves rolando all the big players the crazy the team, team. Yeah. but they couldn't play against it was a derby you understand? It, it, a wonderful night it was raining. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But today, if you can see Porto play against a small club, there we beat them 5 0. We but control it, the game 19 yeah, It's different because Porto, like, Porto and Benfica mainly. But Benfica's buying 20 million players. I'm a Benfica fan as well. But mm -hmm. Julian Weigel, like, how is smaller teams able to compete with that? It's, no, they, it's not possible. They'll be lucky to even buy a player for 1 no, million. It's not possible. You know it's what I mean? Possible. It's not, no, it's not possible because of money today. But yeah, remember, at, at the time, if, if, you have a, if, if you have a good vision, because there were so many, play, many good players before, that's what I'm telling you. Today, it's not easy to see uh, good players. Before, mm. there were so many good players everywhere. Yeah. So many. Today, there is no so many good players. That's why all the good players, they are expensive. You understand? Yeah. And when the good players go to one club, then that club will dominate for a long time. You yeah. understand? Because there is, for example, before, if you see the, the uh, Serie A, you have Juventus, you have uh, Inter Milan, you have Milan, you have Lazio, you have uh, Roma, five clubs that fighting to be champion. And the five clubs, they have top players. Yeah, yeah. Top players in the five clubs. Yeah. When you see today, only Juventus have top players. 
Yeah, they win like 10 and every, let's every say team. Inter Milan. The rest yeah. of the club, they don't have. You understand? They don't have. They have maybe yeah. two or three. That's it. But before, you can see, for example, Inter Milan, they have 40 good players. 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They can be Even... three teams. Yeah. <laughs> and they qualify yeah. for Champions League. You understand? Yeah. yeah. They are 40 in the, in the same squad. You understand? Yeah. And they still, and still in other clubs, they have big players. You understand? So everywhere, every club have good players. But mm. now, you don't see it. It is big yeah. difference between big club and small club because there is no talent. And and I think it's all about money, you know, because uh, clubs, it start from young before, be, because before, all clubs were thinking about to make make good players. So when you are young, you go to training, they have to form you, but now clubs, they don't form players. Money, they just yeah. wait luck to see one genius player and then they, they bring him in first team, you know. They don't have time to prepare the players, to train them, for them to become yeah. good players. Many clubs yeah, don't do that. You can buy one for five million, that's it. It does the job. Yeah, that's it. They don't believe in information, you understand? Like, look at Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea is a good example. Also, Manchester United, you know? They believe about young players. They don't need to no, buy no. big players. They have to but, make at least one or two, three good yeah, players. You know? But I think Chelsea are only doing that because of the transfer ban. Because if it wasn't a transfer ban... I understand. But yeah. that's the politic of Chelsea since long time. You yeah, understand? obviously. When you make good. a politic, it's not to work on the same day. They started 10 years ago. And yeah. 10 years later, it pays. Because yeah, obviously. Chelsea... The, the idea of Chelsea is not to buy players for 20 years. No. They want to start at the beginning to buy big players, to make names, to put a certain standard to the club so that the young players that come down has to know where they are going. It takes mm. time. They cannot do that in the beginning, very beginning when they bought Mourinho. Because on that time, they need trophies. He will not yep. win trophy with young players. You understand? But big after, players. when they have a certain stability, then they can start to include some young talent with the big names. You understand? No, yeah. they can do that before they cannot do that because no, of the pressure. So, obviously, you play in Portugal. Did you prefer your time mainland Portugal? Obviously, you play for Bobish as well, Le Chonge, Maritma. Do you prefer your time in mainland Portugal or Madeira? What, what, did you see any difference or was it the same? Porto is a very nice city. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. It's a very, very beautiful city, you know? Yeah. And uh, Madeira is a nice city as well. You understand? It's a very nice yeah. city. The only difference is that to, for Madeira to leave, to go to another country, to another city, you need to take plane. Yeah, obviously. Both of I, them I, were I, fantastic. Both Madeira, Porto was nice. I don't see any difference. No? Both was, yeah, fantastic. You miss any food from Portugal? Or? I miss Portugal, of course. No, like food? Food? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's fantastic. Yeah, I like bacalhau. And I like also the beef, you know? Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, they have good food in, in Portugal. Very, very <laughs> good. Everything is good there. The people, the way they love football, you know? The way they talk about yeah, football. It's, it's fantastic. Crazy. It's fantastic. Obviously, I think it's the country that I enjoy the most to play football, you know? Yeah? Yeah, yeah you went down the back as well. Free exactly. It's, a, it's the country that I like the most to play football. In Boavista, I have a very bad luck because of injuries. I don't know how many injuries I have in Boavista. It was unbelievable. Because also, it, it's for my time, I stay without play. You know, I mm. stay almost one year in, in Turkey without play. Then I arrive in Boavista. So when I start yeah. to play, pff, injury. When yeah. I start to become informed, injury again. I need to start back again. You know, when you're injured long time, you need the same time to recover your level. But the problem is in Portugal, there's no time. This kind of league, you know, no, they have no see. time to give to players. You give time, you know, and I understand that because there is a lot of money engaged. You understand? I understand. Yeah, yeah. This is football. <laughs> you cannot do nothing. It's a business. You need to get results. <laughs> exactly. Um, I never have any problem with none of my team in Portugal. No, I understand yeah. all the decisions they made. All I understand. With the board in Boavista, when I left Boavista, I have very good relationship with them. Even in Maritimo, in the end of the, the league, the club, the president is a Christian. You were you were you were injured. Most of the time in the season, you didn't play much. Now we go to Europa League and we don't have money. So we need to reduce the the salary of the mm -hmm. group. So mm -hmm. if you have something to go, go. And then the Belgium, they, they call me and then I go okay. to Belgium. I didn't fight with the club. I didn't insist some, like from, from players that want to stay to the end of their contract to take money from the... No, I didn't have this kind of mentality. It's not good, like, it's, oh, My you goal to was always to play football and to leave good image when I leave a club. No matter how. Even if it was good or bad, the image is something very important in football. You learn from it as well. Whatever happened, 
Yeah, so long it's, because. Uh, because it's life, you know. Some, sometimes something is good, sometimes it's not good. But it's no, not because it was good or bad that you have to leave bad image, you know, or fight with the, yeah, yeah. with the people that believe you in the beginning when you came, you know. And I always have good relationship with my boss. Good, always. Man. Only in uh, Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Only, in Romania. Run away. <laughs> yeah. Only in Romania. Only um, in Romania. Obviously, Maritma finished fifth, qualified for Europa League, what a team. For, yeah. Or one of the best Fantastic team. football. Fantastic football. football. And the what? good thing is that in, in Maritimo, they didn't, oh, they didn't play the way I played. But I was feeling myself in the team. Yeah, you enjoy it. Because yeah. we have good relationship with the players. Or we have good connection. We were like brothers. Yeah. We have good team spirit in Maritimo like never I had in one team. Or like Zona. Hmm. In Maritimo, all of us were same. Nobody was jealous because the coach was changing the team all the time, you know. You play yes, good last game, last game, last game, last first eleven, and nobody is, is mad. No, we are. Everybody was happy. You see the goal that can qualify her for the is me that scored that goal. We lose one zero, we score one one. I come inside first ball goal, finish. You understand? I didn't yeah. have to play ninety minutes to score in the in the, in the Maritimo. The way we play, the way we understand each other was fantastic. We have a fantastic team spirit in Maritimo. Fantastic. That's why I was sad when I left there because. The injury did it really kill me. Then I have. I was going like this, good, and then injury. I came back injury again. I came three times. Yeah, crazy. Then, That's half of the was, And the coach like, was fantastic coach. Pedro oh, Martins, Olympiacos, very very good coach. Olympiacos, very very good coach. Very very good coach. He was close to us, and he put. He is the one that create this good ambience in the club, you know. Yeah. And we players accept it because sometimes players they don't accept it, you know. And he was yeah. a young coach. He was not, yeah, uh, you know, you understand? He was young, and we accept it, and we help him. You know, he was communicating with us, with the players. We were talking, joking. Never in short words. Never, 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 never. That's never, yeah. He was never shot many players. Never. There were many top players in that Marino side: Ben Ashur, Roberto, Danilo Diaz, Baba. So many. There are so many to name. Many. We have a midfield, a fantastic midfield. We Your have. Opinion. Uh, Who was the best? Roberto, we have Roberto. You see a goal? Benfica? Uh, we have this guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the other Brazilian that was a play with Roberto. Uh, uh, so, Oberdan? Not Oberdan, the other one. Miranda? Miranda! <laughs> oh, what a player. These two, because these are the two players that was always playing. The yeah. coach was changing between Benashu. And Obedan, because sometimes we play 4 3 3 with uh, Losange, you know, with uh, uh, Roberto as number six, yeah. Miranda right, and Obedan left. When we play against teams that are strong, because uh, 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 Obedan and Miranda can go up and go down. When we play against less team, we play with Benachu in the middle because Benachu was playing number 10. He don't come back. To the two. So we just play to attack. Then we play with Benachu. So it depends against the team we play, you know. Yeah. These are the only two players that can stay. Miranda and Roberto, fantastic midfield. Unbelievable. I never, I never ever forget Roberto's goal against Benfica. Oh, yeah. Rocket. Oh, well one shot, 20 or 30 meters. Yeah, crazy. Man. One, unbelievable. Unbelievable. When, yeah, when we you have a strong squad. When you <clears> train, like, and the goalkeeper. You see now, where is this guy, goalkeeper, this French guy? Uh, Ren, yeah. Yeah, very good. He, he went to. He, he, went to he went to Sporting, yeah, I saw it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the main keeper got injured, and after he took over. Yeah, no, he was really nice guy. I met him in the stadium. Both of the goalkeeper were unbelievable professional. They yeah. came before everybody. They they go after everybody. They were together. They were not not jealous. Huh? They're working together. They are warming together. They are fighting together. They never have any problem. Never. Have any, and both of them deserve to play. And the coach have headache when he want to choose yeah, hard, hard his goalkeeper. He have yeah. big headache. You know, you need to call one and say, okay, today you don't play, please. I know you understand. You have to talk to him because both of them were good. And yeah. none of them never uh, made mistake. you know. None of them. Yeah. None of them. So it was difficult for the coach. And at when the you, end, he pays. He pays off, you know. When you, got coached, when you got coached by Pedro Martins, did you think, did you see that he can achieve Champions League like he is now? The way, was, the, the way uh, Maritimo was playing, I said, this guy, we are in Portugal. In Portugal, <laughs> in Portugal, I know, I know something. When you are good in Portugal, you will go. You can go everywhere. And yeah. after that year, I knew anybody in the club can go anywhere. Yeah. Anybody. 
anybody in the club can go anywhere. When I went to Belgium, I am the one that brought Robson there. Hmm. When I went to Belgium in that club, and when I left Maritimo to go in uh, Leuven, yeah, they wanted a, a defender. No, they wanted a striker because the captain there was injured. So they wanted a striker. So when I arrived there, I spoke to the coach I, because they were last in the league when I arrived after five games. Yeah. I told to the coach that if you want us to succeed, you don't just need a striker. You just you need also a defender because we don't have good defender. He said, yeah, but we don't have money and it's difficult. To... I said, no problem. I will solve it. I called Robson. He was in Brazil. His contract was finished in Maritimo. I said, my friend, come play with me in Belgium. He said, oh, I want to stay in Brazil. I'm 30-something years old. I said, no, my friend, you still have power. Come. And then he took his flight. He came. That club was last in the league when I arrived. And in December, we were third in the league. We start to win everybody. Yeah, you got to score like five goals, 19 games. I only played six months. No, four months there I played. Yeah. Only four months. And then, guess what happened? They received offer to, 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 for me to go. They tell me to go because they need money. Yeah, yeah. Said, no, I don't go. They say, okay, you don't play. <laughs> 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 you don't play anymore. You see, if I played that season, the full season till June, because I wanted to stay at least two years there, not even yeah. once. That's what I told to the coach. That the day I will leave this club is because a club come and put millions there. We agree. He said, yes, we agree. But after three months in December, many clubs came. Turkey, especially from Turkey. They put money on the table. I say, I don't go. I want to stay here. I want to go play in Germany or in Italy. I don't go. And they say, if you don't go, then you don't play again here, my friend. Oh, no. I say, yes, I don't play. No problem. And then the oh, team second team. I it's, ending, it's ending then, in five seconds. Are we starting? When I left, the team go down in second division. As soon as I left, Yeah, it's an hour. That's why I turned off automatically. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That as soon as I left that club, the team went down in second division straight away. It was a misunderstanding. And then I and I put also, you know, I put that club in contact with the, you know, my sport director in Sevilla that now in Leeds, in Leeds. Yeah. Victor Orta. I put them in contact so that in the future, if for example Sevilla have some players that they want to put in loan for them to yeah, play, I can bring yeah. in the club. You understand? Yes. I wanted to put my name on that club, you know. I did a lot of things for them. I brought Robson. I convinced Robson to lower his salary that I have, he has in Maritimo to come play there, you know. I did a lot of things for them. But you love that club, then. This is life, my friend. This is life. And then they forced me to go. And then after the end of the end, I went to Turkey because they want me to go. But I didn't want to go there, you know, because Turkey for me was not, a, you know. Not I don't want to go there. I don't see my, 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 I never saw my future there. I don't mm. know the football about there. I, I, for me, it was not, not in my mind. You know, it was not. Yeah, there. it's crazy. Like football's made of decisions. Like money, well, you, money, money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Money. What's what do you say out of your whole career so far? The the thing, like the lesson or the thing you learned the most out of football. One thing, if you had to pick, you cannot control it. You cannot. You can control nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Why is that? You cannot control. You, you, you know, if I, I know <clears throat> one thing. <clears throat> I am sure about something. Everybody has his own destiny. If something has to happen to you, it will happen. No matter what, you can prepare. You can, you can say, okay, I will, this can not, never happen to me. And you do everything for that thing to never happen. But at the end, it happened. Mm. That's, this, is what I, this is what I saw in football, you know. Because something happened to me that I will never knew it would happen. Never, 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 never. And I was prepared that that thing would never happen to me. But it happened not once, not twice. More than twice, you know? So you can't control anything. It's yeah. just, you, you have to follow your destiny. Yeah, you that's the thing. That's why I tell people, like, 
you could try your best to do the best you can to try do something, but if it has to go against you, it's going against you. No against you. I remember yeah. in Boavista, I I trained like a madman in Boavista, a madman, a yeah. madman. I trained in Boavista. Last game before we last training before we go home, poof, injury, finish. Yes, it's great And, because look, the other places you're not. Oh, you're training hard, but not as hard. Nothing happens. You train no. hard to no. make be better. It happens. Yeah. No, in in Lesures, for example, I was not working in Lesures. When I wanted to work hard, the coach said, "No, no, 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 go there. Yeah. <laughs> don't do nothing." I was big in Boavis in Lesures. I was big. The coach said, "Don't do nothing. Stay stay away." He was protecting me, you know. But I wanted to work for me to do more. No, don't do more. What you do is okay for me. <laughs> It's good like this. You understand? Yeah. So, and in Maritimo also, when I arrived in Mohamed, I was hungry in Mar in Maritimo. You can yeah. see my position in Maritimo. I was flying. Mate, But you when you uh, every time I because when I, I go to Madeira every season every year because of my family from Madeira so and I live in England so every time I go there so I watch the preseason and one player I saw Marega he's in Porto now when he was playing for Maritimo. When I saw him, I was like, "That's Poga." Same, same. <laughs> Marega firing goals, exactly the same. He yeah. reminded me of you, you and Baba. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Marega. He's a good player. Yes. The thing is that then I have mental stress in Maritimo after when I stay two months without my document. I see, ah, it's finished for me. Mm -hmm. Finished for me. And then I, when I was going to training, the coach can see me. You know, I yeah. was not there. I, I was not mentally. You know that. No, 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 I was not there. And then I start to lose my condition, you know, because yeah. I didn't play. I trained the week and the weekend, I stay home and I saw the players go play. I was, I, my head was not okay. Mm. It was not okay. It's a shame. Because yeah. if this you is life, as I told you, you yeah. cannot control. You cannot control, no matter what you want. And then when I came back, when I start, my, my, in, in, when Baba left, the coach told me, Christian, Baba is calling goes now. You cannot play every game, you know, but you have to prepare because if you go in January. So I start to put guns, you know, I start to prepare yeah. myself. And then when I start to play, two two or three games, poof, injury. That destroys everything. Because if you keep getting injured, the club's going to be like, I'm going to get a different striker. <laughs> and then they, no, the same way. They, and then because I was injured a long time, so they start to play Danilo, Danilo striker. And then at the end, they put uh, the big one, uh, striker as well. Because they need striker. Yeah. You know, I went too much injury. Something yeah. that you cannot control, even if you want and you fight a lot, at the end, it will happen. Yeah. yeah. When when you least expect it, it will just hit you. After after Boavista, you go to Kemi, Finland. That's what. In Boavista, I have uh, the last injury I have in Boavista made me stop my career because I have knee knee with one player, one Brazilian player, Felipe Felipe Sampaio. Yeah. Now right. in Fondela. Yeah. We have a big shock in the training. You know, knee knee. I had the ball. I wanted to dribble him and he wanted to tackle me, but he slid down and then his knee came to my knee, you know? Yeah. It, when you see me around, I, I, you know, I, I run like uh, with one leg, you see? So that problem never finished. So when I signed, I, I finished to Boavista. I want to go back to Switzerland. I went to Switzerland, but I didn't pass the medical test because they said that I have a problem there. I went to Finland. I signed in Finland. <laughs> They asked my ITC in Boavista. They didn't make me a medical test. I was just training <laughs> normally. I was training normally. So two days before the game, no, three days before the game, they, they, we make physical training, you know, and we were <laughs> jumping. So, you know, when I jump, when I step on my knee, my knee doesn't, doesn't go <laughs> totally. And yeah. the, 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 the physical coach, he said, Christian, you have problem? I said, no, no, I don't have problem. You can see I run, I play, I'm friendly game, no problem. He said, no, 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 no. I think you have problem in your knee. So they went, I went, we went to doctor. He made the test and he told to the president, this guy, he have a risk to have, a, to broke all his knee. So it's a very big risk. He cannot play. And then we cancel the contract like this. And then there is one club in Dubai also wanted me. Uh, no, in, 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 uh, in Dubai, in, uh, in Qatar. That wanted yeah. me. So there's, everything was okay. Huh? Everything was okay for me to go there. And then they call the club in uh, Finland that why this guy signed to your club? That's it. He never play. <laughs> this guy is, cannot play again. Finish. This is the president that spoke to him. Yeah, directly. Yeah. They don't have to do that because it's medical secret. You understand? Yeah. They should not do that. And then they never pick the phone of my agent again in Qatar. 
never again. And then I went to one, one friend of mine, his coach, you know, he called me in Malta. He said, please come help me. My team is not good now. We want to save. Come help me. Then I went to help him. I told him that maybe I have a little problem. You know, in my knee. I don't know. People say I have. I was making training <laughs> normal. I yeah. played two games. I didn't have problem, you know. Mm-hmm. They say if I play long, I will have problem. He said, Christian, let's stop. Let's, no problem. So I, I helped him two games. Then I, that time I decided to stop. Mm. Because everywhere where, 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 where I, I stay in France, I was making mm-hmm. training in France with one uh, association. And then you can see when I learned, you know, I was not 100%. Mm-hmm. It was hard for me to accept that. And I was young. Yeah. I was 30 years old, you understand? I was very young. Yeah. But I have to accept that I cannot do more. So, so that was the, it says the two games, was it Atleta from Malta? Malta, Malta. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, did you enjoy it there or? Nah. Nah. Nah? Nah, nah, no way. <laughs> no way. If, if it was not my friend, I would never put my legs there. Yeah, why? Nah, because I, you know, I play football not for, I, I, I play football for, for, how to say, for a good reason, you understand? I want to win something when I play. For yeah. objective. I yeah, don't okay. like to just play without objective. I yeah. can, I, it's better I stay home. Like, for example, I can play in third division here in France, you know, third, fourth division, but I have no objective. I just go make training for nothing, you know, and I don't, I, don't, I didn't decide to play football like for that. I decided to play football for like, for example, what we did in Maritimo to qualify, you know, for something mm-hmm. like in, 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 in in Venezuela to win something like in Zurich to be champion to win cup or to do something yeah, like that. this is why I play yeah. football to bring joy to people you know yeah. to, to, to score goals and win games to do something not just to win game and then we finish middle of the classification and nothing you know it's not uh, this is not I don't, I don't play football for that and I don't see football like that you know it was my it was my behavior that's, I, that's why I didn't like Malta because mm. it was for nothing you know for just playing to play no, no ambition. Stadium, no one or was there a few people? Sorry? Stadium. The stadium, was there a lot of people or not? Nah. Malta is a country for holiday, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Even when the champion is playing, nobody is the field. <laughs> their family and their friend come to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fair it's enough. a country for just for, just holiday. for holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think it's semi-professional day. Because some mm. people walk and play, you know. It's not, uh, it's not a country, for example, where you can bring a, a, a young players to, to show himself, to sell yeah. him after him. Nah, 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 nah. Just to fully, con- you can't nah, concentrate nah, nah. fully on football. Yeah. No. Nah. So after you go to France, SA, yeah? Yeah. I like France because most of my, because I, when I play football, I didn't see my friends, you know, when I was young, you know. I yeah. didn't see them since 15 years. And most of them, they live in France. That's why I came here. So mm-hmm. that sometimes I can see them, we can be on the phone, we can meet them, you know, and we can go out. And yeah. during two years, I shut down, you know, from 2017 till uh, 19, I shut down everything. I was just going out, you know, <laughs> to meet friends that I didn't see a long time ago. So now I'm preparing to come back in football, you know, as, a, as, an, as an agent. So I'm preparing myself. Hey. Yeah. I want to, no. I like to move, I want to stay in football, you know, I like, I like football, I want to stay in football. And I want to help, you know, pe- some people to realize their, their dream. That's why I want to stay in football. Yeah, that's good. That's the thing. Do you think a player needs an agent? Because obviously I'm 18, for example. Do you think a player needs an agent at this age? If you're you, playing always, you always need... A, I, I will not say agent, but somebody that advise you. Somebody that negotiate for you. Mm. You need it. If you don't have it in football, you cannot that's go it. nowhere. You can be the best. You can be the very best. You don't go nowhere. That's because, the thing. because football is about, uh, you know, football is about a relationship. For example, you cannot go in Madrid or Chelsea or these kind of big clubs if you don't have connection to go there. You understand? Yeah. You can be a very good player, but you have, if you have nobody to bring you there, you will never go there. That's why you need people ar- around you. You need strong people around you to yeah. help you to go up, you know? Because there are a lot of good players. You understand? Yeah. Only if you are a phenomenal player. But yeah. phenomenal player, there is only two in this world. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. There is only two. And they don't have agent. Like for the Messi, his father is an agent because he's a phenomenal player. He doesn't yeah. have He's me, the one that decides. Yeah. Even, the, even the club that wants him cannot decide. He is the one that decides. You have to be a phenomenal if you don't yeah. have agent. For me, for example, like at the time I was 17 last year, 
and I moved. I was in London, so I moved to Brighton. So I'm on the other side next to the beach, and I was playing. There's a team, sixth division in England is different. Mm -hmm. Sixth division, fifth division is already professional. I know. In England, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I was playing for the under 18 team, and after I did well, went to under 23s. And after I'm playing, I'm playing well, and I see some under 23 players, and they get promoted to the first team. I'm playing so well, I never get promoted. Never. I go one game, two games on the bench, but that's it. Like, I don't play. I don't see anything. And after, there's people, like players, from the same under-23 team, two or three players, that they play for the main team. And I'm thinking, in my head, no, I'm not cocky or anything. I'm better than them. Like, I don't see why. But after, my friend tells me, those three players, go check the director of the club and after, talk to me. Yes, who? It's his dad. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. okay. Makes sense. But it's like that in all the club in the world. Yeah. In all the club in the world, you will see that. All the club, even in the biggest club in the world, even Madrid, you will see that. Surface right. Even in Barcelona, it's, it's happening. Yeah. There is one player in Barcelona that they will promote in first team because his father works there and he's the best midfield in the world now. But in the second team, he was not because most of the players with who are playing in Sevilla, They come from Barcelona B, you know? And that yeah. guy was even in the bench there. He was not the best. Mm. They promote him because his father works in Barcelona. Now he's the best midfielder in the world now. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, it's crazy. You see? He get promoted not because he was the best in the second yeah. team. No, because his father was there. And they force him to play. They force him now in Barcelona. If you play every day, of course you will increase. Of course yeah. you will become a big player, you know? Yeah. Everywhere in the world you will see that. Everywhere. It's happened. That's what I told you. You need people around you. You need strong people around you that can help you to push you up. Mm. You need it. Yeah, that was like my experience. I was like, I'm doing everything. I'm training hard, doing everything, I'm playing well, under 18, under 23. After, if no one's getting promoted, I understand because mm. they don't want to risk it, because they don't want to get relegated, whatever. But after, they finally promote under 23 players and I'm mm. like, the best there. And after the guy they promote, I'm thinking... He's good. Don't get me wrong. He's good. He's a good player. I think I'm better than him, as an opinion. And you can ask 20 players, 17, 18 will say I'm better than him. After my friend Mike. You need a relationship, my friend. Yeah. His dad, his dad is the director. I'm like, okay, thank you. You need a relationship. Yeah. You need a relationship. That's what I need to my little brother is in London. He's an agent. He's an official intermediary in London. In, in yeah. London. Yeah. His name is in the in the list of the of the agent. In England, he, he, lo he live in, in London. Which city you are in Brighton? You told me. Yeah, yeah. My brother is there. I He's used to live. I used to live in London, but I moved to Eastbourne mm -hmm. now. So Brighton, right next to Brighton. So yeah, I'm pl obviously I'm working on the side, playing because obviously you need money on the side. Mm -hmm. Football is not paying me enough, but it doesn't pay you enough right now. So yeah, I'm working. Got so I'm doing football, working at the casino, doing nights. Like some players in Premiership in Premier League, like did uh, for example, what is the name of this guy, uh, the striker of what what uh, uh, what uh, You mean Jamie Vardy, Leicester? Vardy, yeah, he was yeah, working, and then you now he's a big player there. Most, some players yeah. in Premiership did that, you know. Yeah, it's about as I told you, luck and connection. If you have somebody that can connect you in a certain level, then. It's just yeah. up to you after this with your talent. There is, but you need somebody to link you up. Mm. You need it. You yeah. Need yeah. It. Thanks, man. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to take that ahead and just see what I can do. Uh, to be honest, like, if I make it or not, well, I'm going to keep on football. I love football. I'm going to keep playing no matter what. But if I can make a living out of it, then perfect. If not, it's fine. Like, I'm not, not going to kill myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, give it a go. Okay. How you said you trained with Eto, yeah? In national team, yeah. Yeah. How was that? It was good. This guy yeah? is a phenomenal. Yeah. You, you can see it. So fast. He has technical ability. The guy is, is so fast. He's so fast. He's a genius. You could see it. You could see that yeah. he was so much better than everyone else. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What a player. And yeah. everyone, he left Barcelona, he went to Inter Milan and did bits again. Like, it's what he does. I was sad for him when he left Barcelona because the yeah. team was playing exactly the way he played, you know? Mm. It was fantastic. But it's, as I told you, there are, some certain, there are certain things that you cannot control, even if you want. Yeah. He was the best. 
He was. Why, he was. why change him for 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 Ibrahimovic? Ibrahimovic is a very good player. He's a very 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 top player. But the way Barcelona was playing on that time was not for for Ibrahimovic. Yeah, he came on, scored two three goals. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it was not for him. Yeah, it was uh, not for him. You know, because he's not the kind of guy that we make uh, high high pressing. You know, during ninety minutes. No. Mm -hmm. And wait, any of the followers, if you want to ask any questions, feel free, comment down below. Uh, what other player, I except Inter, from the Cameroon national team, that you just looked up and you were like, wow? Ashley Mana. Yeah? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Mana. He's a, yeah? he's a player. He's a fantastic player. Ashley Mana. When I was playing, he was playing always with me. Mm. The same thing here. When oh, we play one to one to one to together always. Link up. I, I, this guy, I when I play with him in national team, it's like we all we already play together since years. The way we understand each other was fantastic. It was okay. phenomenal. I like this guy a lot. And we and in Sevilla, when I signed in Sevilla, I signed in Betis at the same time. We meet there again. Yeah, we stay okay. we stay here. He's like my big brother, you know. Mm. I should have fantastic player and the goalkeeper, Carlos Camini. Oh my god, I used to love that guy. He was guy, so underrated. He's so underrated. He's a cat. He's a cat. Yeah. Fenerbahce he was recently. He was at he was in La Liga a lot. Yeah, well. he didn't play in Fenerbahce. He yeah. In Fenerbahce. La Liga he played a lot. Uh who was the best player? The Tony says who was the best player you've played against? I play against. Or That's what Tony said. Tony said, "Wit, wit." No, against, against. Uh, against. We play against Lille in uh, Liga Europa uh, playoff, but it was not good that day. Hmm? Azar, Azar. I play against Azar, but it was not good that day. Hazard, ooh, yeah. Young. Hadley. I would say the best player with, against who I play. Uh, I, I I hesitated between uh, Di Maria and Falcao. Oh, Di Maria! Oh my God, he was because we lost we lost at home against Benfica when I was in 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 Lech four zero. And, yeah, and 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 uh, Di Maria that day scored his first three goals in the Liga against us. Yeah. it was it, it was good. It was phenomenal. I hesitated between him and Falcao because the two times when I played against Falcao, he was not fantastic. No, but his career. Oh, the guy is good, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is a, is a phenomenal. Against the game, the same game I play, the guy that was very good, I will say Di Maria. Yeah, he was he was phenomenal that day. That day, he was unbelievable. What a player! Like yeah, yeah, he was unbelievable that day. Spiked yeah. up hair, young Di Maria spiked oh, up hair. Oh, the guy was running. He was like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Speedy Gonzalez. The guy is uh, oh, like, he's, he's very good. He was very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I would say him. Yeah, I would say Di Maria. Hundred mm. percent. What about the best player with? Canute. Canute, yeah. Yeah. Canute. I didn't Kim play game with Eto in uh, in national team no. just training. Yeah, I would have said Eto yeah. if I play with him, but no. I would say Canute. Mm. Canute he has. Uh, he has a, he's very good. <laughs> very, very good. And he fits your style as well. Yes. And Thanks. the way he play, he's not only playing the way I play. He has mm. different style of playing. He can play like Ronaldinho. He can play like Drogba. You know, he was not the striker. He was number 10 in Serbia. Mm. The, and, and you can see the, the technical ability the guy has. It was unbelievable. And he, you think like he's slow. But he's not slow. You cannot take the ball from him. He have good assist. He have good dribbling. He have good vision. Oh, the guy was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Stanian says, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but uh, he said, what was the best decision you've made in your career? I had to go play to Belinzona. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what it's like to represent your country? Even just train with the other players. Oh, represent in in Africa is is more special. You are like yeah. a president. You know, you know when you go to 
to the, when we are, in, we are in the hotel, when we go to training, there's the police that is in the front of the car, around the car. The police is all over the hotel. You know, you are like a minister, like a president. <laughs> yeah. We are bodyguard. And you, you see, the field is full, even for small training. Mm. Full, 100,000 people. And you can see your, your, your family, you know, they watch you on TV. And yeah, yeah. It's, something, it's something that you don't have in club. It's not the same like in club. Mm. It's not the same. It's wonderful. Crazy. Yeah, obviously. It's your, uh, what is your best match you've ever played in your opinion? Uh, if you had to pick one. Uh, not easy. The game, I have the game against uh, the Derby, against Guimaraes. Mm -hmm. I have the final against Basel, in Basel, final yeah. cup. I have the, which one? The Barrage, yeah, the Barrage against uh, Sengalen, Bellinzona. I have the game in Leuven against uh, Bruges. We lose 1-0 after two minutes. Damn. We have red card. And you survived the whole we play, game. We play tense against 11 and we win 4-1. Oof. Yes. So, that game, and you. there is, uh, this striker was in Bruges. That striker that played in Sevilla and AC Milan. Uh, I forgot his name. Very good striker. I forgot his name. He was in Bruges. That game. Whoa, Carlos Baca. Yes, Carlos Baca. He scored yeah. goals after two minutes. <laughs> and then we take red card after five minutes. So mm. we play 19 minutes with one player less and we win 4-1 and I score. I score the equalizer, the 1-1. One, one. After 10 minutes, I score the equalizer and then we win 4-1. Crazy. But I will say the final against Basel. I will say yep. that one. Yes. Fine. It's a final. It's man. the final, you know. It's a special match, yeah. Everyone's up for it. Yeah. It's a, all the Europe was there. And it, it, because of that game, I went to national team and it's that game that made Sevilla took the decision to buy me. That mm. game. Do you, when you were at Sevilla, do you think you were good enough for the first team? Do you when you went to Sevilla, did you think I'm going there to play for the main team? The way I play, I was fit. That Sevilla game, I, I, we play against each other in uh, uh, games. You know, the second team against the first team in, in uh, with Sevilla. I was always scoring. I was seeing myself there. That's where I go there. Mm. I was seeing myself there. The problem in Sevilla is that the first co the coach changed the way we play. Yeah, he wanted to copy Barcelona, you know, and mm. then I, it's, it's impossible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not possible. Tony says, "Where was better to play overall? Living, football, everything together? Zurich or Marima?" And I will say Maritimo because in Zurich the players, some players I was new, you know, and then some players didn't like me so much. Because they didn't know me, yeah, they didn't like me because I was, uh, I did not smile, you know. It was my oh, first day professional, and when you, I was tall, strong, so they think I was a guy that liked to fight, that liked to bring problems. So they didn't help me much in Zurich. They think I was a problem player. They didn't yeah. help me. That's in the thing. Timo, they know me from Lechowesh. They know oh, yeah. my personality. Yeah. They accept me, and 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 as I told you, we understand each other in Maritimo. And the life is fantastic with the sea and the... Yeah, but you, like, every yeah. little village was 10 minutes away, not even. Yes. But Zurich and Maritimo was almost playing the same football. The mm. difference is that the players in Zurich didn't know me and didn't accept me. And Maritimo, they like me and they accept me, the players. That's what the difference. Uh, another question. What is the most goals you have scored in a match? Professional match? If you remember. My hat-trick in uh, Bellinzona against Lausanne, Lausanne Sport. At mm. was nice. At trick, yeah. You've played against top players. I'm looking here now, like especially in the Portuguese league, especially. João Moutinho. Oh, I score against, I, I play against uh, all, all those big, I play against uh, David Luiz when he was yeah. in Benfica. Yeah. David Luiz, mm. Luizão, Ramirez, yeah. uh, Saviola, Emma, I'm mad. Oh, I'm mad. Maria, Falcao, Crazy. So Moutinho, I, the list is so long when I was when I played Portugal. Benfica, you have a lot of players also. Porto, yeah. you have a lot of players. Braga, Sporting. Yeah. Who would, you, players. who would you say was the toughest centre-back you've played against? The hardest centre-back? 
They had a centers back against who I play. Yeah. David Luiz. Yeah. Why? Yeah. He was when he was young. He was so smart. Now he don't use his brain when he play. I don't know why. <laughs> when he was in Benfica, no, it's true. It's true. He doesn't now. He, he use power. He's not a powerful player. He's an intelligent player. Mm. He's the only defender that before I have the ball, I receive the ball. He already know where I'm going. He's the only defender in my career. I put Kaneka, you know, in the, I, I, you know, Kweka, you know, this put you put ball in between the two legs of uh, Luizao. Yeah, Kweka, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Kweka, not me. Oh, yeah, I, Luizao, a lot of even uh, 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 this this defender from Porto, I score against him. Uh, what is his name? Otamendi. No, Otamendi. The other one, the big one, the tall one. Rolando, Brunwald. Not Rolando. Uh, the guy who played with Rolando. Bruno Alves. Bruno Alves. I scored against him. And the game that we play 0-0 in Porto, I was I, I was in the with the men of the match. I want to kill Ronaldo that game. Why? I wanted to kill Ronaldo that game. Por qué? I was killing him. I was going left to right. I carry him on my head like this. <laughs> I want to kill Ronaldo that day. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're ruthless. That game was I I didn't we play 0-0. We did. I didn't score, but it, I think it's one of my best games in Portugal against mm. Porto. Yes, if I want to choose one game that I was in the another level, a very very Champions League level, it does that game. Yeah, nobody yeah. catch me that day. I, the yeah. highlight is still in the, my my YouTube. You can see I take the ball against. Uh, you see the midfield that play in Manchester City. What is his name? Javi uh, Garcia. Uh, the midfield, Brazilian midfield that play in uh, Porto. He play in Man City. No, he play in Man City. Uh, he well, Manchester which, City. which team was he playing in Portugal? Porto. Fernando. Fernando. Yes. Yeah. I come in the middle. I destroy him. <laughs> I the ball. I and also Bellucci. Oh, that day I was flying. That day. I was flying. That day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you played against Alexandro as well. How was that? Did you see? Mar was he good when you played against him or no? He was playing a uh, left winger. I didn't... Didn't really see yeah. much? No, no. What about no. Otamendi? Otamendi, I didn't play against him. I don't think I played against him. No? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, it says... No, it says... Look. Apparently, you played eight minutes. <laughs> I don't know. You don't remember, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I didn't. Mm. I don't remember that he was marking me. I don't remember. Mm. Uh, Tony says, "Have you ever thought of playing in the UK? So England, Scotland. Every summer, every winter, I have offer from England. Yeah. Every time when I was playing, but I didn't have French. I didn't have European passport, and I didn't have the seventy percent of 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 uh, match with my selection. That's why I never go to England." Uh, I have the perfect profile to go there. When I was in Zurich, Everton wanted me. Everton, Everton. Didn't play, huh? they wanted me. Everton back then. When I was in uh, when I was in uh, uh, Bellinzona, also I forgot to play. one club won me also in England. In Belgium also there is one club that wanted me. After six months, and uh, after Lech Schoes also two clubs wanted me. Yeah, obviously everyone wanted you. No, in, in, in England, they wanted me, or since, since Zurich, they wanted me. Yeah. I have the profile to play in England that time, you know? Yeah, yeah, strength. Football in England is strength. That time, I have the... Now, football changed. Like, that's not like before. You see, now, in football, you don't see a striker with my, with my age, you know, 195, uh, 95... No, you don't see it in football now. Football now is about short player, fast player. Football has yeah, changed. Technically. Since, since Guardiola arrived in Barcelona. Football yeah. has totally changed. You it's crazy. See, check all the top club in Europe. None of them have tall striker. None. None of them. You can check. Even None if they're them. even if they're tall, they're good with their feet. Technically. They are not tall. None of them are, are, are tall. No. No. No striker have one ninety in no top club in the world in Europe. You can mm. check. Real Madrid, no. Barcelona, no. Atletico, no. Felix. Uh, Juventus, <laughs> no. Uh, who else? Uh, Manchester City? No. no. Chelsea? No. no. Uh, 
Uh, who else? Which yeah, person? yeah, that's Bayern true. Munich? No. That's true. You that's understand? True. The, yeah. the, the football now is not about it. Before, between 2000 and my time, you know, 2008 when I was on top. Yes. All the club wanted big, tall striker, you know, target man. But now, no, they don't want Stanley football has changed. Lewandowski. Yeah, Lewandowski. But it's not, not he, 190. He's not 190, mate. You understand? He's not 190. Yeah. I am 195. Mm. It's completely different. You don't see 190. I don't say 195. 190. Ali Alan is the only exception. And he's playing in Borussia Dortmund now. He just arrived. Yeah. He's an yeah. exception. He's a That's very exception. Really rare. Um, in England, what, what makes you love England so much? Like, want to play in England? The because it, 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 it's, it's emotion. As I told you, I like to play football for emotion. Yeah. And England is the country for the emotion. Yeah, when you play, me. even when you are the last of the league, the fans make the game Behind look it. like it's a final of cup. You know, yeah. so you yeah. play with adrenaline when you play, uh, when you play in, uh, in England. Even when you play the last against the, the before last, the game is like a final of Champions League. Yeah, the intensity is the same. The fans they are shouting like uh, they play against uh, Messi. You understand? And this feeling you can only see it in uh, in uh, in uh, in England. Yeah. Always. There's no I'm difference totally... between when you play against the first or you play against the last. The, 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 the intensity is the same. Yeah. The ambience in the crowd is the same. Obviously, I'm playing in England. Football in England is just different. Like, I'm playing sixth division. When I go called up for the first team, by the first, when I'm, 20, I'm under 23, when I get called up for the first team, even on the bench, it's 5,000 people. I'm like, it's not normal. In a different country, it's not, you don't see that. In in the Portuguese league, the first league, the smaller teams against another smaller team. Let's say Marit Movies Le Chonge. Or Le Chonge. You won't Maybe see 3,000 on the feet. On the, on the yeah, exactly. You won't see yeah. 5,000 people. And after there's me playing sixth division, semi-pro, having another job, and there's 5,000 people. I'm like, what's going on? Like, it's not normal. It's only in England. That's where you see it. Like, third, fifth division, third, there's 20, 30,000 stadiums. It's, it's unheard of. In different countries, you won't see that. It's just, it's different. Um, what about Scotland? It always rains there. Would you play in Scotland? I didn't, know, I don't know about that league. I didn't know about the, the league there. My, I have a friend that plays in Scotland. Landon mm. Gemo. He played, I think, in Rangers, I think, if I remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember which club he played there. Mm. Yeah. But he's yeah. like England, you know. I've, 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 I, I never see the, I never watch a game, you know. I don't, I don't know the ambience there in the crowd, you know, in uh, mm -hmm. in Scotland. Yeah. I didn't really have uh, inf mm -hmm. more, more information, yeah, about uh, about that country. Yeah. Scottish football, nah, it's only it's Celtic Rangers, that's it. The rest is not the best. It's not exactly, the best. like it's like in Portugal. Or well, in Portugal, there is four clubs now, but uh, some countries, you know, that this kind of country, there's no many clubs that fight for the mm. to be champion. Right. Mm. I played sixth division in England, yeah. Yeah. Players in the fifth division in England. They play in the first league in Scotland. Yeah. They go from the fifth yeah. division in England and they sign for Scottish teams first division. So that says it all. Yeah. Uh, did you ever want to play in Ligue 1, French League? Sorry? Did you ever want to play in French League? Ligue 1? No. No? No. It's, I, from the very beginning of my career, I knew that I can never play in France. Why? Because France mm. don't have players like uh, they don't make players with my stature, you know. Mm. France is uh, because France is like in my country, they like fast striker that dribbling. This is the mm. typical type of striker they want in France. Drogba was an exception, and you can see in the beginning of his career, nobody wants him. You understand? Because he's not the kind of striker people want. Yeah, in France, Marseille. You know? Yeah, no. Marseille cool. took him because of, you understand, he made good season and then he went there. But in yeah. the beginning, when he was young, no, nobody not. would believe he would make this career because he's not the kind of striker that make, they make. The kind of striker uh, France make, like when they are young, is like Benzema, you know, fast, dribbling, this kind of striker. Mm -hmm. Mamadou Nyang, you know, this kind oh, of yeah. bamboo, you know. This is what uh, France make. And for me, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. They don't understand this kind of football here. They don't mm. understand. That's why you can see this guy that played in uh, Benfica when he played in Marseille. This uh, Greek guy. 
Митро Гул. Из а гуд страйкър. И скоринг гол. Проблемът е, че това, че футбол е в Франция, не е този тип футбол. Да. Това е не възможно. И в Бенфика е скоринг гол. Е за гуд страйкър. Да, за гуд страйкър. И за Mitro Glue, before he came to Benfica, he was at Fulham in England. Yeah. Played two games, nothing. He couldn't do anything. Everyone hated him. Yeah. All my friends, some, I've got a few friends that are Fulham fans. They're like, he's rubbish. He's wasted my money. 10 million. <laughs> he comes to Benfica, scores, scoring 35, 40 goals a season. It's crazy. What do, you think, what do you think a club needs to do to make the player get the best out of the player? Like, the most important thing is have identity. You know, a lot of clubs don't have identity. For mm. example, Barcelona have identity. Uh, Chelsea before have identity. Now they have changed, you know, since Mourinho left. Yeah. But the most important thing is that you need to have identity. When you have identity, you already know which, which type of player you want for your club. You know, yeah. for example, in Barcelona, they know that which, in, in, in this position, we need this type of player. But for example, if I ask you a question, um, let's say... Um, Uh, Liverpool, not Liverpool, a normal club. Let's say um, Newcastle yeah. or, 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 or Boone. You know, which kind of striker they want? Big. You don't know. You don't, you know, don't know. They yeah. want tall striker, they want to, you don't know. They don't have yeah. identity. You understand? They just buy player and they hope the player will become good. Yeah. You understand? And this is the problem of 80% of the team in football. They don't, mm. they don't have identity. They just want you to come and show yourself, you know, play, play good. But for a player to play good, to have 100% maximum of his capacity, he needs to be inside a structure that can make him become, give his 100%. Yeah. That's why when you see, for example, Eto when he leaves Barcelona to go to Inter Milan, it's not Eto of Barcelona. Yeah. You understand? Different. It's a different kind of football. You understand? And it's different kind of, uh, of, of playing football. But if you put, for example, Eto in uh, Arsenal, it will be the same Eto in Barcelona because mm. they almost play the same football. You understand? And yeah. most of the clubs, they don't have identity. They just buy player because the player is good. But they don't buy the player because he will come and play the way they want him to play. Yeah. That's, the, it, thing about, that's the thing about football. It's not only being good. There's a lot of factors. It's not only like being Madrid. good. Like Real Madrid. Did Real Madrid have a style of play? No. Only when Mourinho was there. Yeah. Mourinho made a, a, a kind of, of football that he wants. I want this kind of football. I want this kind of football. I want this kind of football. So for you to come play in my team, you need to have this quality, this quality, this quality. Yeah. Fast winger, fast striker. Because he likes to play counter-attack. He needs strong midfielder that have good pass. You understand? To break the lines. This is what he wants. You know what, you are, what, 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 you, what is waiting for you. But before that, and even after that, for example, today with uh, Zidane. Zidane is a good coach. But if I'm asking you, what is the identity of, Marce of, of Madrid? You don't know. Buy a hundred million player. Yes. <laughs> we just buy big, uh, good players and let them play. You understand? But they yeah. don't have a, a, a real identity. They don't have it. And that's why Hazard, everyone's hating on Hazard. Not, as a, as if I ask you, what is the position of Hazard in, in, uh, in Madrid? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Sometimes he play winger, sometimes he play number 10. The problem is that when he come play number 10, sometimes he, 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 he fight with, uh, with uh, this Croatian guy, uh, uh, Modric. Sometimes he fight with the Spanish guy, that little boy. Yeah, you he know? fight them. <laughs> yes. They walk on their leg. You understand? They don't understand each other. Mm. You understand? Because there is not... For example, when he was playing in Chelsea, in Chelsea under Mourinho, Mourinho said, you play left winger. You stay there. Yeah. The number 10 is this one. The right winger is uh, this guy. You stay in your position and you can see how he play. But in Madrid, he play everywhere. He's lost. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> he finish the game and you, you ask yourself, damn, this is not Hazard we know. Yeah, yeah. Hazard at Chelsea, pff, unreal. Too good. You understand? And yeah. The problem is that so those clubs, they don't have even like Juventus. They don't have identity. <laughs> they don't have identity. It's Another. a big club <laughs> without identity. You know? <laughs> Yeah. But when this Conte was there, they have a structure. Yeah. A, a good structure. But since Conte left, they play anyhow. They play anyhow. 
Yeah, we've got a question here. Messi or Ronaldo and why? Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo for sure. Yeah, someone that understands me. Come on. And, okay, I will, this is my opinion and I will explain why. Messi is a genius of football. Yeah. No doubt regarding that. The problem is that when you want to, when you want to tell somebody he's the best, you have to compare him with the other best. Messi is a player for one club, as I told you. Messi, you remove Messi, you put him in another different kind of, of, foot, of club, it cannot be the same Messi. Yeah. But when you have a Cristiano Ronaldo, anyway. Manchester United, that have a certain kind of play, he moved to, he was the best player, he moved to Madrid, that is the best club in the world, playing a certain kind of football with different coach, had the, the same time. result. All the time. He got to Juventus with a, 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 a different country with a very different kind of football. He's the same. Everywhere. Now, in the national team, because you cannot be the best if you are not good with your country. He won the European Cup with this country. Messi lost three finals. Yeah, but people say, is it Messi's fault? Mm. It doesn't... It does, it, it, you see Portugal team. True. That's, Portugal what, that's team. what I say. That's what I say. People you say think oh. Messi can score goals with Portugal team. <laughs> they don't play football in uh, Portugal team sometimes. You understand? Defend, defend, defend. They don't play. They play nothing. They just shoot the ball in front and they kick and they rush like uh, English football before. You understand? But yeah. Cristiano managed to score goals. And he's yeah. about to score 100 goals with his national team. I think he's already scored 100 goals. But yeah, he's trying to beat the record. Uh, the Iranian guy, Ali Day, by 112. He needs to beat it. You cannot compare. Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. can play every kind of football. He can play even ugly football. And he will I'm, be the best. I agree. Messi totally cannot agree. play ugly football. Cristiano uh, Ronaldo can play beautiful football like he played in Mar Madrid with Mourinho. They were playing tac, tac, tac when they score 120 goals. They yeah. were killing any team. I think, any team they were killing. I think if Messi goes to a different... For example, Messi in the Premier League, I don't think he'll be the same. Nowhere close. Put him in the Manchester United now. You will see if he, was, he will play like a Messi. You understand? But yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, he arrived. Anyway. And then he, he made decision by himself, you understand? He, he, he didn't have Xavi Iniesta, you know? He scored goals on his own. He scored free kick, he scored, he scored with head, he scored with left, left anyway. foot, right anyway. foot. This guy is a criminal of football. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? I'm talking about different with what he can bring. You understand? Messi as a talent is a good, is a good player. Yeah, Messi is a good I am player. a president. Who I want to buy in my club? I will take Cristiano Ronaldo. Because Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't need uh, Xavi Nesta to give him assists. He can score goals from in the middle. You remember the goal he scored with Manchester against Porto? Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unreal. Crazy. Like halfway. You yeah, halfway. You will never see Messi score this kind of goal. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. He's... You see the free kick against Arsenal in Champions League from 40 meters. Yeah. You understand? So Cristiano Ronaldo, I know that I don't need to buy big players to put around him. But yeah. I know that he will score goals. You understand? But Messi, if you don't have players that play the way he play, you don't have Messi. You don't have Messi. Um, what's it called? What was I going to say? Uh, yeah. Let me see a comment. Yeah. You, after your career, I don't know, of football, you still playing football, just football, or you doing something else? Or are you going to focus on agency or managing? Yeah, agency. Football hey, agency. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah. As I told you, I want to make, I want to realize some, some young players. I want them to realize their dream, you know? I want to help them to realize their dream. I knew mm -hmm. I have some strong contact with some, some, some clubs, some, some president, you know? And then uh, if I can help some players, then I will, I, I will do that. Not if. I will do that. Are you doing it only in France or anywhere? No, everywhere. I play in different countries. I play in Spain. I play, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, I know. Yeah, I play yeah. in Belgium, in Turkey. I have contact Malcolm. everywhere. Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now my brother is in England, so that uh, that's good. Yeah. This is what I will do. <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start playing, get a few contacts and just see what I can do. Just go for it. Life is about contact. When you have no contact, you are dead. You can see Gaddafi. Why Gaddafi dead? Because yeah. no contact. That's crazy because that's another thing. Young people, like, they're struggling at club or whatever. They think, oh, I need to go to university. They go to university. It's not only, like, they think, oh, I've got a degree. That's it. I'm going to be rich. It's not like that. No. You can have a university degree, a business university degree, 
and make any money from business. You can have your dad that has a hundred thousand pounds and make money. Most of the people that became rich, they didn't become rich because they were the most intelligent, because they were smart and they have good contact. That's it. If yeah. you have good contact, for example, Mendes. Why Mendes become the greatest? You know the story of Mendes? He started with not nowhere. Because of a good contact, he became a great man. Just because of contact. Not because he's the smarter one of the world or he's the most intelligent. No, it's not about your brain. It's about your contact. If you have good contact, strong contact, then you can do big things. For sure. Definitely. Take that in. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can have a bit of talent, but you've got contact to help you. It's a fact. It's not, it's not all about talent. Exactly. Someone's asking, do you have any match-worn shirts? Because I collect football shirts and have a mini football shirt business. I'm starting up. Someone's asking, do you have any match-worn shirts like from other players you played against? From other players? Yeah. Yeah, it's my home, my hometown in my country. Yeah? What, yeah, what, what country? Huh? What players you got? Pablo Emar. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> no. Yeah, this kind, you know, he's, he's the kind of player that when I was young, I watched him play, you know? Yeah, he was Messi's idol. He was... The guy, the guy. Yeah. But when I played against him in, in Spain, in uh, Portugal, he was close to the end, but he was still good. He was still very good. Yeah. But it was close to the end. The guy can dribble all the field. You know, like we are kindergarten, you know, we are the child, children. He just yeah. takes the ball and pass everybody. My favorite players, I follow Benfica. Aymar, Saviola. Simple. Wonderful. Cardoso also was good. Huh? Cardoso was good, yeah. But for me, Aymar, Saviola, they were so small, but so good. So oh, good. Dick, uh, Aymar was fantastic. The guy had, he, he was like uh, Di Maria. He yeah. dribbled everybody. Every game, he, dri he can dribble like three, four times. Huh? Four or five players. In the yeah, same game. Like he was 20 years old. He was nearly in the end of his career. The guy was so good. So good. Do you have any other and any other shirts from different players? Yes, I took also for Daniel Ves. Daniel Ves. It was mm -hmm. a good fight with him. Like Daniel. Dan uh, Bruno Alves, Bruno Alves, sorry. Bruno Alves. Oh, Bruno. The defender yeah, for yeah. Porto. Bruno Alves, I took from him. I took also for Sporting. Uh, Silva, that played Monaco Adrian. now. Yeah, Adrian Silva. Yeah. Adrian. Yes? Yeah. Uh, I took for who in Champions League. I, I took for my friend that when I play against him uh, with Lille. Uh, Sheju. Mm. Or even Sheju that was playing in Lille. Central yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took his shirt when we, I play against him. When we play uh, League Europa with uh, Vasui. Yeah. Also in... Uh, in, uh, in the final against... Uh, against... Uh, Against Babic. Basel, I took the shirt of Mastorovic, the, the tall defender. Yeah, he was it. He was he was the best defender for long in uh, in, uh, in Switzerland. Yeah, and I scored against him, so it was good for me to take his shirt. <laughs> and you got his shirt to remember. Yeah, Mastorovic. <laughs> and, That's uh, great. Yes, I wanted to took for this guy Baka against uh, Bruges. Bruges. But they, they sacked their coach after the game. You know that game they could not they couldn't lose it. You know. But they sucked. They called that day. Everybody was sad. I couldn't take his shirt that day. Yeah, yeah. So, like, after the game, would you ask them or would you just... Usually wait? after the game, I don't like to ask shirt. I, I like to, to go, to go straight in the dressing room. Yeah. So how you know, you in most of my club, I was like the... I was always in the captain. You know, in the list of the captain. Almost all my club. Mm. Because when I... You know, when I came in club, I, I used to have experience. I came always... In all the club when I've been, I was the one that had the more experience. Mm. Almost. Boa Vista, Maritimo, um, in Belgium. You know, I have more experience than the other person because I, I went to many countries. So mm. they put, always put me in the, with the captains. You understand? So yeah. when the game finished, I need to go to clap for the fans. Always. I need to bring the players to clap to the fans. We need to go to the dressing room, speak to the coaches, you know. I have always that responsibility. That's why I don't have time to go and speak with other players now. No, no. <laughs> because I have responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. How would you get the shirts then? Sorry? How would you get the shirts? For Bruno Alves, it was a, it was a very big game. Tough game, you know? And yeah. then after the game, we were together, close. So I asked him straight. Ah. For, for, for Cheju, it's because he's my friend. So after the game, yeah. we spoke together. 
you know. Yeah. And for for Benfica, I asked uh, to Pablo Emma before the game. Ah, before the you game. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they make the tactic, they make the tactic for me. <laughs> catch me. They make yeah. me have red card. <laughs> I have red card yeah. that day. Yeah. Yes, it was Ravi Garcia, you know, that made yeah. me have red card. Yes. You know, I jumped to hit the ball and he, he makes simulation like I hit him, you know. And then they gave me red card, but I never touched him. <laughs> and he was insulting me all the game, insulting me. He want to push me, you know. Yeah. But I never talk, you know. I, so I, I am somebody that you can never make me lose my my yeah, So they made the tactic that day for me to have red card. Yeah. So in the end of the game, Pablo and, and my, he told me that, and then he gave me a shirt, you know. Yeah. And then uh, for who else then? For Adrian also, I asked him before the game. Mm. Before the game, I asked him because when we play against those teams, sometimes we meet them before the game, you know. Ah. Before, yeah, so before I ask, because after the game, I usually don't go to speak to other players. Never. I have my face is, is your yeah. Yes, I'm always mad. Even when we win, I am. I was always nervous. Hmm. Yeah, this is the only one I've got. The current Marino keeper, Amir. Yes. Playing everyone national team. So yeah, uh, that's, the, that's the one I've got. So yeah, trying to. I've got so many cover shots. You don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> no, I never, I never asked for this. I never, yeah. I never asked. It is my house in, in my country in Cameroon with my father. Mm. I, what, give, you, I give it to him, to my do father. You, do you do it like this or what? Sorry? Do you frame it or do you do it like that? No, he signed. He signed. Only the player signed. Ah. No, do you, do you put it on a frame or do you put it in the hanger? No, I just give it to my father. Ah, okay. Yeah, if you put like this in home, people will steal it. <laughs> people will steal it. So he had it in his room. Yeah. Because of my cousin that came to the house, they already took all the shirts I gave to him. <laughs> remain, yes, he put like this in my house, but they took all. So now yeah. all the shirts remain to him, he keep in his room. He don't they... take it out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, what's, what's people saying? I got one of the last questions. Does football boots matter or no? Sorry? Does football boots, do they matter or no? Depend on the player. Yeah? It depends on the player, yeah. Why is that? There are some players that uh, you give them any shoes, he play, he play the same. And some other player, if he doesn't have a special kind of foot, of, of, of boot, if it's not light, he's not, he's not comfortable. Or if he doesn't have a thing, he's not comfortable. It depends. Depends on the player. It depends on the player. Do you think oh. in your, when you're, I don't know, when you're hitting 30 plus, when you're playing football, professional, do you think you should be thinking what you're going to do after football or you should just wait until you retire? So I didn't understand your question. So when, when you're 30 years old, yeah? Yeah. Do you obviously you're getting closer to the end of your career? Do you think you should think of what you're going to do after football, or should you just wait until you retire and after? Even before I start football, it was clear for me. For me, football, as I told you, was to enjoy first and to make contact. Mm. I like to do business. Yeah, <laughs> I am in the family of business people, of businessman, so it's in my brain. For mm. me, it's all about business. Yeah. Even before I start football. I wanted to do business. Yeah, that's the same. So it that's was clear, same yes. Thing. Now, like, after, my, after, after 30 years old, I have to orient myself where I have to do the business. Because business is, 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 is big, you understand? But for me, football is the best, is the best world to make, to make business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, like, since I've been a kid, love football, played football all my life, still play football. I still have a job, still play football. It doesn't matter. I finish work at 8 a.m. Uh, I start, no, I finish... I've got a uh, match 6 p.m. or 8 p.m., finish 9.30, go straight to work at 10 p.m., finish 8 a.m. Every, every, every week, I do that. It doesn't matter. Well, I love football. I do that, and I've always wanted to do something related to football. Football player, football agent, football coaching, football business, no matter what. So that's what I'm doing. I've got a football shirt, business start, slowly building, doing that, playing football on the side. So, yeah, football industry is just crazy. There's so many things you can do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what when, you are, when you have been in football, it's very difficult to, to leave that world, you know. It's very, very difficult. Mm. Very difficult. 
now it's almost 15 years I'm there, you know? Yeah. Difficult. It's not possible what, because you made you, all your life there. Yeah. What do you miss the most of being younger in football? I will always miss football. Yeah. I like to be, I like to, I like to, I like to be in the field, you know? Mm. I like to, he, to hear the fans scream, you understand? Scream. And then score goals. The feeling when you score goals is something unbelievable. Yeah. Especially important goal. Yeah. Because when you score no, some, some goals that doesn't have meaning, it's like you didn't score, you know? Like the goal is the goal I score in final, it's something 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 special. You'll never feel again. Something special. The goal I score when we qualify for Europa League in Maritimo, something special. Yes. The goal I score in, in uh, when uh, I was uh, when I was uh, we playing a playoff to promote in first division against Sengale, something special. Yeah, you the goal I scored against uh, Bruges in you know the, that game that goal was special, and the yeah. and the goal also I scored against uh, Mekren because Leuven Mekren is a derby. Something special. When I scored the goal against Bra uh, 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 Victoria uh, Guimaraes in the derby, like she was something special. Yeah, it's Remarkable. a feeling unbelievable. You know, Spe you. important goal. The way the fans, you know, the, the joy you bring to people. You know, somebody, have, he leave his problem at home, he come at the field because he want to be proud of his city, you know? And then yeah. you give him that joy. It's something special. Yeah. It's something special. That's the same. Like when I, especially, I went, I was playing for a team, I, played, I, I got called up for the first team and I scored. There was like two, three thousand people. And for me, I normally have a hundred people watching. That's it. That was, yeah. for me, it was something I'll never feel again so far. It's crazy. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully it'll build up. But yeah, Christian, thank you very much, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much Thanks. for coming on. Nice, uh, nice chat. It, it <laughs> was supposed to be an hour. Have, it was two I hours. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it was an hour. <laughs> it was supposed to be an hour. It was two hours. Enjoyed it, man. Thank you very much. Hope thank to you, my meet you in real life one day. Stay in contact. And yeah, we stay in touch. We stay in touch. Yeah, best of luck for you and your career and your agency, everything you do. And yeah, keep being you, man. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. No problem, man. Take care. Okay. You take care. You take care. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Lads, if you got to this part of the video, you're an absolute legend. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching the whole video. You don't understand how hard it was for me to get a pro footballer to do an Instagram live with me. Obviously, I have never done this before, so it was an amazing experience. And it was just crazy to talk to him, especially when he played for my local team, Maritmo, the club I support. One of the clubs I support. Uh, it means a lot. Like him just telling his story just gives you an insight of how football works, the football industry and stuff. Like him running away from China, playing with Eto, changing clubs like every second, all of that, how money speaks louder, all of that was just insane. And I'm hopefully I will have more episodes of Talk Football because that was just crazy. Absolutely enjoyed it. Like we both enjoyed it so much that we agreed on an hour and we went to two hours like that just says it all it was it was just amazing big up christian poga what a legend like he was straight up real no messing about just talking facts just being real with it no hiding nothing hiding like putting a persona in front of the cameras like most footballers do he was just being real with it saying it how it is and that's what i love that's that's how i like it to be and yeah also follow me on instagram what a beast um yeah big up keep doing what you're doing wish you the best success if you're watching this even if you're not wish you the best success because i think he was getting into football agency yeah gonna be an agent and just help uh disadvantaged or people that have difficulties trying to be a pro because they don't have the contacts and stuff like that so yeah wish him the best for that and just keep grinding what a human what a legend but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, put notifications on. If you got to this part of the video, comment down below, hashtag China, because he ran away from China. Comment down below, hashtag China, if you got to this part of the video. Um, but yeah, let's bash 30 likes. Share on your stories that you're watching this interview. That would be crazy. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's get another episode of Talk Football. Obviously, it's going to be hard because I need to get try get in contact with a few footballers, see if they're willing to do so. Some don't, some don't really respond. Some don't, don't see it. Some don't want to do it. It's totally understandable. But yeah, there's always a small percentage that do. And that's why I'm going to try get as much episodes if you guys show your support as possible to do this.
so yeah I enjoyed it let's get into it let's smash the like button show that you guys enjoyed it as well but yeah hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe I'm out see ya